Oh my goodness. It is time for the Cuphead DLC. 200 years later, the DLC is finally released. At least it says. It says it's out, man. It says that I can play. So I'm going to push the play button. Let's do it. Yo, what's up, Mastermind? This, yeah, this is the DLC. Look at this. We got a new song and a new intro and everything. literally just came out six minutes ago. <laughs> One second, let me uh, the audio a little bit in check. Okay. <clears throat> it's a delicious last course. Oh, the delicious last course. Wow. We gotta hear all the it's soundtracks. I've heard a lot of these already, but... This is surreal. It says it separates main and DLC on the percentages. Let's see, let me turn that. Let me get this to about there. Do that. Okay. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Let me make sure I record this just in case. All right. I mean, I'm gonna load into my original file. This is actually my first playthrough save file. I've somehow never deleted it on accident. So let's do it. We're going to go in as the classic cup cuphead. Huh? Oh my goodness, look at three new charm slots, the three new weapon slots. Nice. <laughs> so I think the legendary chalice has an urgent message for you. Find me on the coast cups. Nice. <clears throat> All right. Yo, what's up, halfling? So there is a uh, way to get there in aisle three. All the question marks. So it's this guy. Bid me carry a message to you. She needs your help. A far off isle. A mysterious discovery. The boat awaits. Let us depart. Yes, let's do it. Oh yeah. We're starting the DLC. Oh crap. Right, give me a second. The timer's not gonna wanna not gonna wanna work. Uh real time? Okay, there we go. And this is well. Real time, real time. Okay, we're good. <clears throat> what could legendary Miss Chalice or legendary chalice be looking for all the way out here? Gosh, Cuphead, I don't know. Hope she's okay. We sure are far from home. <laughs> Jump a jelly beans. You've always made it. I have the most amazing news. And it all has to do with this here cookie. Take a bite and see for yourselves. <laughs> it worked. It really worked. I'm alive again. The Jebate. 
but now I'm a ghost. See you. <laughs> What's going on here? Everything's gone uh, topsy turvy. Follow me, boys. I can explain everything. Dude, why Mugman? Always Mugman gets screwed, dude. Because at the base game, like, <clears throat> Cuphead's the one who, like, pushed them to gamble their souls away. <laughs> For ages, I've been trying to find a way to escape the astral plane, but nothing worked. Until now, boys, let me introduce you to Chef Salt Baker, the greatest chef in all the lands. Welcome, friends. Welcome to my bakery. Ah, Miss Chalice, I see my cookie has worked wonders on you. Oh, my stars. I'm a ghost again. Oh my, a finicky thing, that cookie. The taste is sweet, but the effect is brief. Fret not, though, my concerned little cups. I've come up with an amazing new recipe. One bite of this wonder tart, and you have complete control over the astral plane. This wonder tart can bring Chalice back to life for good? No, swapping places or nothing? Indeed, just one problem. The West recipe requires exceptional degree. It's held by the most fearsome of foes. Well, if the Wonder Tire is what it takes to bring Chalice back to life, then by golly, we'll find those ingredients. Oh, wow. Just like our new Grandpa Kettle. <laughs> Stay on your guard, in intrepid cups. Fetching those ingredients will be a test of wit and will. But remember, like any good bake, heart and soul is the secret ingredient. Worry not, I'll keep perfecting this recipe while you're out and about. I just know you'll put yourself fully into bringing the Wonder Tart to life. The fabled ingredients await, friends. Hmm, now where did I put the salt? I think you are the salt. Okay. So you still exit to map? Huh, okay. Cool. One more thing, uh, chaps, remember to equip that nifty cookie charm in the menu if you want to battle as Miss Chalice. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, so you do, you just get Miss Chalice from coming to the DLC. It says, gain access to her double jump, dash, parry, and invincible roll. Oh, I've been wanting to hear this song all the way through. All right, it makes sense because I'm near him. I heard a little bit of the song and it sounded so good. That well, there's gotta be something to that well, right? Dang. Yeah, this is a great song. Extra, extra, Chef Saltbreaker awarded best baker in all the lands. Oi, you're them cuffs. What took out took out the devil, ain't ya? This owl's tough, but if you sent that imp packing, you got suitcases to spare. Here, Pauls, take a little moolah for doing the world a favor. Oh! So if you beat the devil, he gives you coins? You're the cups that took out the devil. Oh, the imp. Who would the imp be? Oh, yeah, 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 that's him. Okay, I just uh, So beating the devil gives you three coins. Yo, what's up, gamer attack? Can you believe it? The DLC's here. Yeah, it's like I it's like I predicted. You can go to any of the aisles. They're all gonna be near the mausoleums. This song's a banger though. Oh, The King's Leap. Oh my God, dude, I'm, I can't believe it, dude. These, these are real levels. Okay, I think that was the full song. Let's check out the recipe for Miss Chalice. Whoa. Oh, it's like her tutorial? Wow. 
Wow. She can still jump dash and everything. Interesting. So... I know, right, Mastermind? And her her dash is her parry. Whoa. Oh, there's a coin as well. Oh, it wants me to do the invincibility roll through it. Yeah, so she has this move. She can, uh, she has invincibility. And it refreshes her dash when you get the, uh, the parry. Dude, did they make a song just for this tutorial? They totally did. Okay, so you can jump, dash, get the parry, dash again, and then jump. I, I I have to I have to know. Okay. So jump, dash, get the parry, dash again. Yeah, you can. So you basically have like one double jump you could use at any moment in the air. And if you get a parry dash, you get like a hop. And it refreshes your dash as well. That's pretty cool. Wow, this is this is crazy. That's a whole new uh, move set to learn. That's awesome. What's over here? Who are these boys? An audience at last. The climbing contest medal ceremony is about to begin. I may have gotten second place, but I think I did all right. I was the first to top, and those losers were left down at the bottom. Oh, I see. It's for second, third. All I can do is throw my hands up left to wallow in third place. Oh, that's the giant. See if there's any secrets, you know? You never know. The King's Leap. All right, let's see what's in here. I've never seen this. Hail ye cups. I bid thee welcome to my floating palace. I am the one true king, the king of games. From afar I have seen you battle with zeal and aplomb. And lo, I grant thee a place in my royal tourney. In these bouts your weapons and charms shan't be of use. You have to find different means to best buy champions for victories, riches, now into the fray with haste. Whoa. Okay, let's come back to this. I want to beat the uh, the t uh, two bosses we have access to. So... I wonder if I should just... We'll come back on simple. <laughs> let's just do regular. Let's get the proper experience here. Oh my god, what am I even looking at? I've never seen this fight. What is this? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, they blow up. Jesus. Oh my god, dude. Where did these dudes come from? Is this phase two? What is going on? Ah! Wait, it doesn't... Oh. Dude, this is freaking trippy. 
Oh wow, it changes the song. The way the song sounds when it when it cranks it up. What am I supposed to do? Kill her? Oh my god. Oh, I kind of wanted that parry. Did I get her? Who's this guy? <laughs> what the heck, dude? What is going on? Oh my god. Dude, what the heck is this? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that was the last phase, though. Dude, this is so sick. So I can roll past these and blow them up. Can I just walk through them? Or do I do I need to do this invincibility roll? Oh god. Oh, you don't want to jump. Okay, now it's this. It's so trippy because of the other ones that aren't dangerous still chase you. Oh yeah, this does hurt you. I, I was curious about that. Oh yeah, you could hit him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I guess you don't want to be on the same side as him. Yo, cool, what's going on? Yeah, for real. So far, it's, I mean, this first boss is sick. It's hard, too. Oh, you can't, you can just walk by them. They were joking when they said every boss in the DLC is the difficulty of an in-game boss. So like devil difficulty. Dude, this is gonna be so sick, dude. Speed run as well. Oh my gosh, she still can hurt you. <laughs> oh! Wow. Oh, this thing you can't hurt. Oh, do you have to parry the tongue? Oh boy, this is not good. Hmm. I think you have to parry the tongue, maybe? Dude, what the heck? Oh, you can hurt the... You can hurt his nose. <laughs> okay, I think I have to kill him through the nose. <laughs> yeah, chaotic as Cuphead should be. Oh god. Oh crap. Oh, 
Oh, she goes pretty far. <clears throat> oh god, that's right. She can hurt you. Haha! <laughs> Yeah, you can hurt this. Oh, but you gotta be careful. Dude, the freaking antelope, freaking whatever that is. It's crazy, dude. Okay. One thing I noticed that was cool is even though I've unlocked Expert in the base game, there's no Expert in DLC unlock, so you must have to actually like beat the DLC to unlock the Expert. Oh, we're on the good cycle right now. Dude, the double jump is crazy. Oh my gosh. What if there's a way to tell where he's gonna put his nose? So I guess you only get one chance to hit the guy in the hat. Oh, I did it! Knockout! Oh, wait! What? Okay, okay, okay. It's kind of a... Uh, it's a bait like Goofy. <laughs> they bait you. Awesome. Dude, this is so sick. It's insane that this game's real right now, man. Oh? Oh, a new area, dude. Distillery dough. Oh, is these all... Oh, instead of soul contracts, I'm getting stuff for the recipe. We'll revisit all these bosses and try to get like the best ranks and uh, play the other difficulties. It's real, Mars. I'm playing it right now. Do you believe it? Oh, there's a cactus boss? Oh, can I go over there? Hmm. Boo, did I scare you? Nothing. I love more than a good ghost story around the campfire. I'd heard word of a ghostly gal roughing up no good varmints around here. I reckon I'd keep track of her exploits myself. I'd sure love to tell you the tale of the villainous veggies vanquished. All right. High noon hoopla, Esther Winchester. Let's do it. This match will get oh shoot, it's a plane off. level. All oh, right, this is Miss. This is Miss Chalice's gun. Oh my god, it's so different. Dude, what is going on? Oh my god, dude. What do her EXs do? Oh my god, what the heck are those? Dude, there's stuff everywhere. Ah! Oh my god, her nuke. Get him! Yikes. Oh my god. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Jesus Christ! There's a beat! 
dang it. Let's be Franks here. I'm your worst nightmare. Oh, okay, dude. We got the puns coming. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I see how that attack works. That's cool. Oh my god. Wonder how you know when that's coming. Okay, this attack I get. Oh boy. This attack is insane, dude. Okay. I want that. Dang it. I'm not used to how it moves at all. Dude, this worst guy is freaking crazy. Okay. Every this is fine. Okay, okay, I see. She kind of winds it up. Oh my gosh, that guy's crazy. Oh! Can I kill the bird? Okay. Mm. Starting to see a few things. Okay, this phase. Let's nuke it. Dude, the... Mm. What is this? Dude, oh my god, that's so awesome, dude. Dude, this is sick. Oh my god. We're going for the nuke! Nice! Yeah, this is the second boss I picked. You have a few options, though. Welcome in, Dran. Nice. That's a cool fight. Dude, that ending is super sick. The way that it has the openings for you. Oh, so that's how you get over there. The desert limes. Oh, wait. Right, we've killed two bosses. What is this? Oh, the plane stage. I think I've seen some of this one. Oh? Oh? Oh, it's a shortcut. Oh, wait. You can go over this way, too. Secret coin. Oh, the shop. So this is going to have the new stuff. Oh. Crack shot, heart ring. Converge, Broken Relic, and Twist Up. So the weapons all cost four. The Heart Ring costs three, but the Broken Relic only costs one. I'm going to buy that Relic because I'm, I'm super curious what it does. So Crack Shot. Straight Shot with good damage. Breaks into weaker projectiles. Converge. Full Screen Piercing 3-Way Shot. Hold Lock Button to Narrow Spread. Cyclone Spiral, Rapid Shot. So, okay, I've seen these two weapons used in footage, but I've never really seen this one used, so I'm gonna buy it. Goodbye. Goodbye. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what this does. We'll try it instead of Lobber. Or maybe we should do, we'll do like Charge Twist Up. 
Broken Relic. <laughs> yeah, I was like, why does Bugman always get screwed? Because Cuphead's the one who kind of like did all the gambling of their souls and stuff. He pushed Mugman into it. <laughs> like, poor Mugman. Say, young Fry, I'm hot on the trail of a mystery, but I'm stumped. That contest of skill, the broken artifact, this eerie graveyard. There must be an order and method to it. What? Dude, what is this? Yeah, you could use it in the original game. You just have to equip the astral cookie. Okay, so he mentioned something about the contest. So maybe I need to do the contest of squill, uh, the contest of skill, then equip this artifact. Come here and figure out what to do. So we'll leave uh, Miss Chalice on for now. We'll come back to that. Let's try uh, this level, the Howling Aces. Plain level, I think, right? Oh no, it's not. Well, sort of a plain level. Whoa. Oh yeah, the new weapon. Oh, this is so good for this fight. Whoa. Dude, I'm just getting destroyed because I'm looking at the weapon. Whoa, dude, this weapon's so trippy. It like, the way it angles is nuts. Oh, can I duck under those? You thought you were a top dog, but you never had a sniff. Here's a real high-class bout. And begin! Oh, right. I can't parry with her the normal way. <laughs> Wait, so... If I'm not mistaken... Right. So you could do like this to hit straight to the side. Like, angle down. Dude, this is like the trippiest weapon of them all. Dude, this weapon's so cool. But it's like really complex to use. Oh, I could kill these. Whoa. Who are these boys? Oh my gosh, dude. I'm just thinking how nuts it's gonna be to optimally fight these guys in a speed run. They're so fast. Oh? Dude, what is this? Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> dude. That is insane. It actually turns the whole screen. R control A. What is that? I wonder if that's a uh, a glitch. All right. Dude, this is cool. This is cool. Oh, right. I'm just trying to figure out how to get to use this weapon. Oh, dang.
Oh, stuff comes from up there too. Oh, I see. There's a little dudes that throw it. Dude, is that Wormin? The little cat? Is that like the real one since it's not the robot Wormin? Yeah, charge shot's actually really good for this. Alright, here we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think if we're, there's like a brief moment where you can see where they're gonna shoot. A Oh my gosh, that's right, they come back. Oh, I forgot Miss Chalice has different supers. I should try this out. I just now remembered. Oh, these tornadoes might be good for this. Dude, there's so much cool stuff I could do with that. I got a charge shot ready. Oh. Okay, this part. Dude! <laughs> that phase is so sick, dude. It's so hard, though. Alright, here we go. Oh my gosh, I always forget about that one. You have to duck under. Oh. Oh, I forgot to equip the supers again. Actually, let's do that real quick. What is R control A? I'm so nervous to press it. R control. Huh. Um, let me equip a super because she has her, her supers are different for her. Oh, it actually says here. Super art one, spiral pillar. Astral energy shoots from Miss Chalice in a devastating vertical blast. So it's normally it's a horizontal blast for like Cuphead and Mugman. Super art two, shield pal. Someone a familiar from the Ash plane who will take one hit for you. Unleash Miss Chalice's ancient form and launch a spectral volley. Okay, let's try them all out. I'll just not use any EXs and I'll save up and try out the, the different okay. supers as I fight. Okay. Starting to get some patterns down, you know? Okay, let's try this. <laughs> okay, not the best for this situation. Cool. Oh wow, it combos. Oh my gosh, dude. No, not upside down. Oh 
Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, let's do this. Oh my god. I can't, my brain can't comprehend this. Okay, we're back to normal. Oh, no, I was so close. <laughs> Dang. What is this? R control. R control. Oh, let's try out another super. Shield pal. So it says it's, it takes a hit for me. A brawl is surely brewing. You're up. I gotta remember she has this invincibility roll too. Like that. Of course, that one was a parry, but... So, shield pal. Okay. So, he just... Oh, is he, does he last forever? Can I do multiple? Oh, no. So when he's out, when he's already out, nice. I don't know the timing on that. Oh, the, the red ones go low and the yellow ones go high. Dude, getting the parry on that's tricky with her. Oh wait, I could use this again. There we go. Nice. That's pretty cool. So that probably has a different death animation if I kill it when she's on the side. We'll come back to that. Because I gotta remember, like, there could be, like, uh, secret phases and stuff like that as well. The pineapple. The weakness of, one true weakness of all Italians. Wonder how Wolf's gonna feel, feel about this. Interesting. I wonder if there's no running guns. Alright. More timer freeze. Oh, let's try out the last super. Let's do this. A brawl is surely brewing. Oh, this guy. Whoa. Oh, these guys don't. Okay. Okay, so he does more than one. Dude, this, this is like the craziest weapon ever, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> He's a wild animal. Oh my goodness, it breaks into even smaller cubes. That's sick.
Oh, right, they wake up. Dude, how this weapon... <laughs> this weapon's the craziest thing. When you aim up, it, like, goes that direction. You know what this weapon reminds me of is, like, in my casual playthrough using Lobber. Like, Lobber felt like such an impossible weapon to use. Oh, I want to see what the, uh, the super does. Oh. The super. Dude, what the heck is that? Dude, that was sick. Oh, last phase? Perhaps? Oh my god. Dude. Oh, man. That was probably pretty close. <laughs> yeah, it was. Dude, this is super sick. What is the description on it? Oh, Mrs. Chalice ancient form and lost his uh, launch a spectral folly. That's awesome. Um, yeah, will you? We'll go back to charge for this. Although I'm trying to use the uh, this new weapon. <laughs> it's just like a 200 IQ weapon, dude. All right. Dude, every angle is like so different how it shoots because of the way this thing is like the direction it goes. Dude, this phase one is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. I guess I never, like, I didn't get to spend that much time in that phase last time. But that's actually pretty hard. Now go. I wonder how much damage this weapon does. I have to imagine it's a lot because it's, it's such a, like, wild weapon to use. Wonder how many times those tornadoes can hit. Yeah, it's so crazy, Mastermind. Oh man. Oh my god. Ah! Oh, I wanted the parry. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, you can't hurt that thing. Dude, this, if this, this thing seems kind of like a roundabout EX in how it hits, but it's like crazier. Oh yeah, it, it does have a limited amount of times it can hit. So it is, it's like a roundabout EX, but with a crazy trajectory. Ah, 
Nice. Okay, okay. Another boss down. Bam! That guy's pretty cool. Thanks, Mastermind. Dude, this is so much fun. These bosses are all, like, it just looks incredible. <laughs> Feels incredible. Icy sugar cubes. Like, everything just flows so well. Oh, this is the big boy. Let's fight Glumstone the Giant. This match will get red Falling red. rocks, danger. Here goes. Oh, I wanted to parry. Oh, there's these little gnomes. They like smack stuff. Oh my god. It's a freaking. What was that thing? What hit me? Whoa. Oh, it's like he's playing. Oh, puppets. <laughs> ah, such a delightful treat. I had a hand in your defeat. Okay, dude. This match will get red hot. Here goes. Oh, dude, the little gnomes are evil, man. Dude, what the heck is that? Dude, let's call out the spirits or whatever. Oh my god, dude! Who's that little spinning guy? Did he throw a gnome at me? What hit me? Oh, does just he hit you? Oh, I could kill these guys. So much to look at. Oh, I see. You could kind of like. They actually do telegraph that. Like when the gnome's gonna be there. Okay. We're, we're making progress. Oh, you can see him gr like kind of growing out of the ground. Nice. Okay, next phase. Ah! Oh my god, he ate me? Dude, what the heck is this? Chicken leg? Oh, when they're fed, they leave. Oh, and that brings them back. Oh, dude, this attack's perfect for this. Well, sort of. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> Yummy. Give off oh, so close. Give up now is my suggestion. Lest you give me indigestion. Dang, he's just straight dropping bars on us now. Here's a real high class up. It's on. Okay. Oh, you can kill that guy. Oh my god.
This attack looks awesome, though. I love that attack. You get one of your uh, parries back, too, it looks like. Oh, I still got hit. All right, here we go. I can't escape. Let's hit him with all this stuff. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, okay. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. That's cool. I'm starting. I'm starting to get a feel for this. I got a couple ideas of what's going down. Oh no! It's this guy. He's gonna hurt me. Should have been a little more careful there. Dude, these animations are really, truly incredible. As always with this game. I wonder if there's anything I could do to like kind of I tried so hard to not <laughs> end up in here. I wonder if there's like a secret phase kind of thing you can access by like somehow avoiding that. Oh wow, that doesn't give you very much of a hop. Oh my gosh, I didn't see the bone. Yeah, I'm super curious if there if there is like a secret phase. Like maybe you could like feed him some lobbers or something. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. This seems really good on this phase because it'll hit both of them, I think. Yeah. Let's see if we could do anything weird here. <laughs> I'm trying. Maybe super two because you get the extra jump. At least with the normal super two you get it. Nice! Oh, I might have got an S rank from that. Or not an S, but, you know, A rank, because I'm on regular difficulty. Let's go. It's my first A, A plus grade. <laughs> Got the gnome berries. We did it! That was the last ingredient we needed for the wonder tart. Let's get back to Salt Baker. Lickety split. Um, before we do that, 
Let's try this other thing. This thing. I haven't done the King's Leap yet. A great slam and then some. You're up. I don't have any weapons. Oh. So it's like a mausoleum, kinda. Okay, cool. That wasn't too bad. I'm guessing there's more to it than that, though. You dispatched that champion in so few rounds, Brave Cups. Thy reward, wealth untold. Nice, two coins. Furthermore, I permit the special entry to the next match. Ooh. Dude, this castle, like, the way it's animated is super interesting. I'd, l I'd love to hear how they did this, if this is a real model or, or what. That because that castle looks super interesting. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, I don't have a weapon. Does parrying him hurt him? Whoa. Oh, it does. A W for me and an L for you. I like the way that it plays the, 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 the music there. That's cool. Oh, wow. Oh, he's trying to bait you into parrying you. I see. Wow, this is such an interesting fight because you can't use your weapon. So you just have to parry. Oh. Yeah. You can't just you can't just do whatever you want on this. Oh wow, you gotta be fast as well. <laughs> this, will get this is super interesting. Here goes. Oh, okay. I wonder if I can parry that and then dash away. Kind of like I do with that one. Oh, I think I can get a second one in as well. Hmm. Dude, this fight is... Yeah, this is really creative. Because also, you, you'd play this differently if you were like Cuphead or Mugman as well. Oh, I think you can get two there. Yeah, you can. You just have to be really fast. <laughs> okay. I'm getting some ideas. Now go. All right, that's the attack that I, I'm never prepared for. I think that one's just a straight up bait. Oh, that was sick. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Wow, that's gonna be super fun to speedrun, I feel like. Like, there's so much you could, strats you could do with that. With this valiant victory, I bestow a riches onto thee. And now, away with ye. Oh, that is that it? Oh, it's here now. New challenger lies just beyond that door. Oh, this is level three of this. A great slam and then some. You're up. Whoa. What is this? So I just have to dodge. Until I guess he's parryable. That invincibility roll's sick. Oh, you gotta put the candles out. Oh, that's actually super interesting. Diff he's like phase two now. Cool. Okay. That guy felt easier to me than the uh, the other one, but maybe because I was trying to rush the other one. That's a cool. That's a really cool f idea for a fight, though. Zephyr's wings. You flew through that clash. Thy reward, wealth untold. Permit the special entry into the next match. How many of this, these are there? This match will get red hot. You're up. Whoa, what is this? Oh my god. Oh, you want to juggle the balls into him? Nice. Oh wow, there's stuff at the bottom now too. Almost. Dude. Man, this is tricky. Okay. Nice, nice, cool. Cool fight. That's another one that's gonna be super interesting to like see how fast you could do it. Because, like, you're going to have to do some really crazy parries. You displayed such expediency. Thy reward, wealth untold. Furthermore, I permit thee special entry to the next match. Wow, they put so many of these into this. Oh, so this replaces the running guns, basically. Like, there's no running guns. It's just this, I think. Oh, do you aim the cannon? Dude, that's so sick. Oh my god. This has got to be like the final boss of this. This DLC is absolutely fantastic.
Got her. Oh my gosh, dude. This, this is a hard fight. Too little, too late. I dare say that's checkmate. Here's a real fight. These freaking rhymes. Oh, almost. Dude, it's so fast. Bam! Dude, aiming these is nuts. Dude, this music too is, like the music has just been so good. I love it. Nice, there we go. Got the achievement checkmate. <laughs> that was awesome. I, I, that has to be the last one. That one was really, like felt like a final boss. To my new champions, the remaining spoils. And with that, the tournament is concluded. Henceforth, my castle shall remain a training ground for thee. Fare thee well, champion. Interesting. <clears throat> wonder where he. Wonder where he's at now. Like, if you wanted to just redo the levels. Oh, also, let's look at the list. Yeah, so I've beaten the, the five bosses. And now that, but I guess that doesn't get its own scorecard. He says, my, my thing will remain a training ground for thee, but I wonder where he's at. Oh, also, we could buy the rest of the stuff now. Oh. oh, wow, the, the shop skip. You don't have as much time to buy stuff with it. Let's equip the two other new weapons, Crack Shot and uh, Converge. Or, well, Converge. <laughs> you know, English, etc., etc. Vanquished veggies. The vanquished veggies. I wonder if I have to go back and do something with root pack. Anyways, let's equip this charm. Um. So apparently there's something to this. Contest of skill that broken artifact this eerie graveyard. I have discovered potent astral energy in all these places. One, two, so there's one, two, three. This one, that one. So there's eight different ones. And I can use how many? So this is a password. This middle grave is the only one that I can't summon a ghost to. It's a three pass code. Interesting. So there's... What if this is like coordinates of the map? So maybe like here, here. 
or hmm. we'll come back to this uh, let's go uh, turn in the recipe now going on down here oh oh no is he evil welcome back you metal some brats dude this is terrifying he's got a knife I didn't think he'd be back so soon. No matter, it's too late to stop me now. The Wonder Tart will be my finest work yet. A shame I never told you about the most important secret ingredient. A living soul! While you suckers were out doing my bidding, I nabbed your little friend here. When her soul is baked into the Wonder Tart, the cosmic powers of the astral plane will be mine. Cuphead Mugman, you gotta help me! But first, I'll take these ingredients, and then I'll use your heads as serving dishes. So this is the final boss. Good day for oh, dang. And oh, and I can't play as Miss Chalice. Oh my gosh, dude. What is even going on? <laughs> Marinate in your defeat while I complete this astral treat. Oh yeah, this attack too. Wow, the, uh, the, the, the game is like zoomed out a little bit. Like this arena is huge. This is nuts. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I didn't realize I had this freaking super equipped, dude. Oh my goodness. Dude, this is an insane fight. Look at the animations on this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Your futile efforts were in vain. This world will be my salt domain. Dude, this is so sick. Let me, this, this weapon's kind of like a chaser. Let me equip one where I have to aim as well. I'll use that and uh, con converge. Okay, let's do it. Nice, so it just loads me straight into the boss now. A great slam it's on. Whew. Dude, these, uh, all of this is insane. Oh my goodness, dude. He's hopping animal crackers. Dude, this might be, honestly, from first glance, I feel like this is the hardest boss in Cuphead, which, I mean, makes sense since it's the final boss of the DLC. Like, this is nuts. Uh, let me, um, 
let me change this super real quick. I'll just use super too. Okay, let's do it. A brawl is truly brewing. And begin! Okay, so that's the limes. They just kind of fly through the sides. Back and forth. Okay, so you could kill these crackers. Oh boy. I guess I could have equipped a charm as well. <sighs> okay, this phase. So I'm supposed to aim at these little salt salt shakers, I think. <laughs> my power grows with much aplomb. Your end is here upon my palm. A great Now go. Man, dude. They they I feel like they put as much animation work into literally this one boss as like half the bosses in the base game. Like this is insane. There's so much going on here and it all looks so good. Oh, the ice cubes. Okay, short. Sure. This weapon's actually kind of cool. Do these leaves not hurt you? Oh, the leaves don't freaking hurt you, dude. So, I think every salt shaker I kill, it hurts him? Yeah. Okay, here we go. This is the phase that got me last time. This is so awesome. What even is this thing? Oh my god. Whoa. Oh, it's this heart. Oh, you could parry it as well. The song is epic. Nice! There we go. <laughs> I think that's it. That was so sick. Two minutes, 14 fight. Beautiful. That's so cool. Miss Chalice. Thank goodness you're okay. That dastardly salt baker, he had us hoodwinked the whole time. Good zooks. This place is coming down. Let's get out of here. Mocha Steer! Eek. Ah. No, my bakery. Serves them right for duping us. But with the bakery destroyed, you're never going to get that wonder tart chalice. If some poor soul had to be sacrificed for me to live again, it just ain't worth it. But mark my words, boys. I'm never going to stop searching. In the meantime, if you ever find yourselves in a scrape, I'm just one cookie bite away. Besides, who needs a wonder tart when they can have two new best pals instead? The epilogue. Aww. 
That's so good. This DLC is incredible. I'm so excited to explore this more. Oh, wow. So they're putting him to work. <laughs> He's having to work for everybody to pay back for what he did. <laughs> oh, my God. He's cleaning the teeth of the freaking whatever that thing is. The narwhal. I have learned my lesson well. This is so cool. One second. Fantastic. And then you get proper credits. <laughs> oh, there's a new ending song. Awesome. Fantastic. <laughs> Man, I can't believe this game's actually out now. There's gonna be so much to just have fun with. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. They had like a hundred people that were involved in the music. It's so crazy. Dude, they got 10 people just for the brass section, man. Heard in the right channel on Baking the Wonder Tart. Bakers, shakers. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I mean this is this is pretty much everything I would have hoped out of the Cuphead DLC, but we still have a lot more to explore because there's I want to see what the simple modes look like. I'm curious. I'm more curious about the expert modes of the bosses. That's gonna be super fun. Um, I'm really curious about the secret, the gravestone. I'm also curious if there's secret phases on the bosses. I have some ideas. Um. Like, that one guy who swallows you, it really feels like you could maybe do something there. So... We're gonna try some stuff out and explore. But I wanna I wanna let the uh, the whole thing play out. <laughs> this is a, this is a new ending song. They like this wasn't in the original. I wonder if uh Oh 
Um, wonder if everyone's uh, beaten the DLC already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds like Jason beat it. They're on a similar speed. Yeah. Amazing. Good old Unity. Now the real fun begins. Now we get to start exploring. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Cause keep in mind, you know, the my first playthrough of Cuphead took like six hours, right? I have 1,400 hours in this game. <laughs> this is the beginning. This is the beginning of the fun. Uh, one second. Um... Okay. All right, cool. Let's do it. 2.38? Oh, it's got like a little cupcake. Yes. Okay, okay. Oh, experts unlocked. Sick. Uh, what do you all think we should do? Should I, oh, here's this guy. So how does this work? One. Oh, you could fight him. The knight, the bishop, the rook, the queen, the gauntlet. There's something to do with this with the secret. I'm not sure what though. That's good, though, that you get to do that. Like, you can redo that without having to do anything weird. Um, out of genuine curiosity, I just want to walk through the base game again and talk to the NPCs and see if anything's dif different. And then we'll start messing with uh, everything else in the DLC. Like, this is crazy. Like... I mean, you could just play Miss Chalice, like, play new new weapons, and then fight, like, original bosses. So all, all this stuff is going to, like, it's going to be so interesting. I wonder how much damage this weapon does when it's close range. Not bad. Can you have two more? Than, oh, you can only have one out. I see. Interesting. Oh, so it just breaks. So this weapon's interesting because um, you want to like, I guess with the, how you want to use the EX is you want to put it out like here. Let's see it shoots. But after a bit it kind of dies. But what you can do is parry it. And it kind of flies at the boss and just explodes. <laughs> it's a pretty cool weapon. I 
I'm, I'm curious, like, what if I use, um, like, let's say Converge and Twist Up for this. Like, what kind of time? I'm just, I'm just uh, trying this out to kind of get an idea of how much DPS these two weapons do. Okay, let me, uh, let me do this right. This weapon's really cool because it has a wider angle if you let go of the thing. But if you hold the lock button, it actually narrows the beam down. Whoa. This thing feels like it does so much damage for some reason. <laughs> okay, what kind of time is that? I mean, I'm not using these weapons to their fullest. 53. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to do some tests on these weapons. I'm re I'm genuinely curious, like, how they hold up to the other stuff. But we'll we'll do that later once we get into the more like speedrunny segments. I just want to go talk to all the NPCs and see uh, see if they say anything new now that I've beaten the DLC. Let me get that out of your system. Okay. If if none of them are saying anything different, I'll just go back to the DLC because I, I I oh I guess I should check the devil. Points helped a bit. Okay. Yeah, it looks like the base game kind of remains unchanged. I never do that he he knows that you find found all the coins like all the hidden coins that's cool oh yeah this is cool I can actually try miss chalice kind of in a more controlled setting here Dude, her mini bomb is nuts Yeah, and Luigi swaps still work. What's her her uh, bullet ex is really interesting. It kind of fires them a little forward back, and then they fly forward. Wow. So her her mini bomb ex is just a missile that goes down in the same angle. That could be really good. Cool. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so... Let's see, anything new? Thanks for settling things down. Okay. Yeah, this all looks to be about the same. Thank me later. Rides again. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty much all the same. I do know that there is something over here that's new. Well, oh, he's over here. Interesting. Oh my goodness, dude. He could warp you to, uh, to just the other aisle straight up. So you don't have to walk there. I have perished 10,000 times. Yeah, so that's a secret if you spin there. I grant the uh, infinite wishes on simple and regular mode. 
So what that does is the next boss that I do, I'll have six HP. Well, I guess eight. Oh, it does. So it just doubles your health. Uh, but it's only for one fight, I believe. It's awesome, Pavi. I already, uh, I beat all the levels that I know about, anyhow. I'm, uh, I'm just checking to see a couple things, and then I'm heading back to the DLC land. Also, uh, welcome in. How you doing? Whoa. Oh wow, these things have insane pierce. I just now realized that. That might mean they're it's incredible versus Ribby. Yo, how's it going, Steak Taco? Yeah, it's out. Can you believe it? Yeah, I was I was a bit tired too when I woke up, but this has been uh, this has been so hype. It the, the the DLC bosses are so cool. Like the the last boss especially is it's it's mind blowing the animation like they're just all hard fights too like it's just straight up every fight is pretty much like mega hard there's also these really creative fights it's they basically replace the running guns with like challenges or like mini bosses and it's awesome um the one thing I wanted to do is I wanted to go to hell and just see if there's anything new. Uh, there's a few things speedrunners have found, but honestly, I, I haven't explored like on it with that detail yet. So there was that thing where you know the guy that tells you how many times you died if you spin three times in a circle. Oh, you could just do this anywhere. That's crazy. But yeah, I don't know how that... I don't know if you have to beat the game to unlock that. Or if this is just a like secret that's always in the game. But if you spin three times, it summons Jimmy. And he gives you like double HP for a stage. <laughs> I'm kind of guessing they'll ban that for speedruns. Because I think it's meant to be a cheat code of sorts. I don't even know how someone found that. Probably on accident. A brawl is surely brewing. Oh, right, I can just double jump, dude. Dude, it's gonna be, it would be so crazy to, like, actually use these parries and stuff. I want to see if anything happens when you beat the devil, though. Whoa, dude, those tornado things were actually damaging the devil, I just realized. Dude, this is the wildest weapon, dude. This weapon is freaking, like, the most five-head weapon that's ever existed, dude. Like, look at the angles on this thing. So it, it goes up, but what's confusing is you can like shoot down, for example, or uh, you can shoot straight up to get like that angle. Um, you can shoot, uh, 
Like, you have a lot of control over these different angles that you can kind of get. Like this. To get a straight shot. And then this thing works like a roundabout EX, kind of. Where it spins around. Yeah, the directions are nuts. It's like, it's like, it's kind of reminds me of Lobber, how Lobber felt. The first time I used it, but it feels like even more crazy than Lobber. Okay, so it still says, I was curious if the ending was different in the base game. Like if it would show Miss Chalice. Okay, it looks like the base game ending's the same. Lobber 2.0, yeah, I guess we'll have to see if it's actually good. Huh. I can't skip. Oh, there we go. The brothers do. I know, right? They get all the credit. Welcome in Secret Forces, by the way. This chalice is really cool. All right, let's go back to the DLC. <laughs> yeah, she gets a proper ending if you if you do the DLC. They just uh I guess they didn't change anything in the base game. Oh, what about the filters guy? I, I guess all the same filters are here. Oh, also, check this out. Her her plane levels are just different. Here's a real high class like the way she shoots. See this? It's like three bullets, and then her mini bombs are wild. It's like a super fast thing. But she can, uh, you can still Luigi swap. Her EXs are a bit different though. Oops. They're like single hit. Oh yeah, so her her mini bomb EXs are like this. Ha, <laughs> that glitch still works. I'm guessing all this still works the same. Wow. It kind of felt like I did more DPS there at the end. But I can't tell. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Back to the DLC. Yeah, there is. I actually have the world record for it, Chipotle. There's uh, all S and P ranks. So you have to do the S ranks on the bosses and the P ranks on the uh, running guns. Okay, so let's head back to the DLC. There's much, much, much to explore. <laughs> Thanks, Steak Taka. Oops. Okay, here we go. All right, all right, all right, all right. Back to the cool stuff. It's not, Poppy. At least it wasn't in 1.3. The DLC did have a patch that came with it, so I don't know. Yeah, so there's this. I don't know if there's any secrets to this. This is just them teaching you how to use Miss Chalice. Oh yeah, it's it's all spoilers. This is this is a DLC stream, so might clean this place up. It's the first to the top. Those losers were left down at the bottom. I don't. Hmm.
I was the first to the top, and those losers were left down at the bottom. Oh my god, dude! Wait. Left down. Oh my god, dude. I think this is the how I think this is the puzzle. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Broken relic. First, second, and third. So I was left down, so bottom left. I did all right, right, left. So down left, straight middle right. Yeah. Bottom left, right. Okay. Yo, welcome in, Ramek. Thanks for the follow. Bottom left, right, left. Oh, I thought that was it for sure. Pong the trail of a mystery, but I'm stumped. The contest of skill, that broken artifact, that eerie graveyard. I have the broken relic equipped, so this just says a simple bauble of unknown origin, and it doesn't seem to do anything. I thought for sure the order of these guys... Left down. At the bottom. I did all right. <laughs> left to wallow in third so maybe it's bottom right left thanks for the good luck i'm trying to figure out a secret right now bottom right hmm maybe it's reverse order from what i thought Uh, I can walk over it. So there's, um, well, there's spoilers, just so you know, but yeah. Uh, there's six bosses. And then there's, um, instead of running guns, there's five, I believe, uh, it's like special levels. Yeah, yeah, if you don't know, I doubt anybody knows how to do it already. Maybe somebody's figured it out, but yeah, you could try helping. So I think it wants this equipped first to the top. Oh, so maybe it's the top. He does say top first. So top, right, then left. Yeah. That might be it, because he, do he does, the first guy says lots of directions. Oh, he said the rest were at the bottom. So maybe it's top and then bottom left, bottom right. Or bottom right, bottom left. <laughs> Is there something about the relic symbol? Maybe it's like reverse. It's only three. So there's three of them. And there's, he says the contest of skill. This is the contest, uh, climbing competition. Oh, it could be starting with the third. Left right up, maybe? Thanks for the good luck.
Right, left up. Left, right, bottom. There's actually a lot of possible combinations. Let me see what he says again. I'm hot on the trail of a mystery, but I'm stumped. That contest of skill, that broken artifact, this eerie graveyard. Potent astral energy in all of these places. There must be an order and method to it. There's no way these guys actually like... Wait, okay, imagine this. Top, left, down, bottom. So maybe this is bottom left? Bottom left, left then right left? Um, yeah, I guess there's only so many combinations. I was kind of hoping to actually figure it out, though. Because <laughs> you could go through it like this. Actually, no, there, there's a lot more than 27, huh? It's like nine times eight times seven. That's how many combinations there are. It's nine times eight times seven. It's actually a lot. Cause you could start at any of these and then the second one could be any of them. Yeah, it's nine times eight times seven. <laughs> So we actually need to figure out the riddle. Five hundred and four. <gasps> All right. Yeah, third is left, second is right. Maybe a middle top? Also, thank you to the follow, Jeremiah. Yo, welcome to Boca. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out a secret right now. Um. Middle top. Yeah, that's what I was trying. Uh, he, they, he did say that they were at the bottom. So maybe it's top, bottom left, bottom right. Dang it, dude. Okay, let's try reverse. Oh, didn't he say... Uh, he also says right as well. Blech. Left... D those losers were left down at the bottom. I was the first to the top. They were left down.
Maybe it's like the pedestals. Wait, how are you getting top left, bottom right out of the pedestals? Top left, bottom right. Nice, nice, Mocha. Do you think there's some, like, five head stuff to this? Okay, top, left, down, bottom. Bottom left. Right, and then left. Bottom left, right, left. It's going good, Boca. I already beat all the bosses. Um, and I bought, I got all the things. Basically, I beat all the levels. I have not beat them on expert or simple mode yet, and I haven't found any secrets outside of the coins. Yeah, you could time people out if they just type the actual solution. Cave! Welcome in, man. I know, dude, it's so hype. Thank you for the good luck. Let me see if there's, is there anything different in the shop? Welcome. I already bought everything. Goodbye. Uh, not yet, Mocha. First to the top. Left down at the bottom. I think I, I may have got second, but I think I did all right. Left to wallow in third place. Hmm. First to the top, those losers were left down at the bottom. There's some, hmm. Left down at the bottom. I hope there's not like, you have to like track it and it like kind of wraps around kind of thing. Maybe he's lying, oh God. It could be some reverse order stuff too. Throw my hands up. Left to wallow in third place. I think I tried like, let me try left, right, and then all other combinations just from that start. Like reverse order it a bit. Yeah, yeah, there is. Basically, the goal is, like, you're trying to rescue or get, like, because Miss Chalice is, like, trapped in, like, the astral realm or whatever. She's, like, a ghost. And your goal is to try to, like, make her human. And uh, there's this guy, Chef Saltbaker, who thinks that he can make that happen if you gather all these ingredients. But it turns out he, there was, like, some evil stuff kind of involved. Basically, he's going to, like, sacrifice somebody so that he could become... Uh, fully real or whatever. So there's like some, some evil stuff that he tried to do, but you end up beating him and then 
uh, he has to like work around this island to help everybody out forever <laughs> to pay for his sins. Maybe it's like a staircase. He's mid right and the two are bottom left and middle. Oh. Dang. Oh, okay. So it honestly probably is some five head riddle stuff, huh? What does the relic have to do with it? Because he says... Hi, <laughs> toy line. Yeah, don't worry. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna beat all the bosses on expert. I was just trying to figure out a secret. We might come back to it though. Yeah, I've beaten everything, Kev. Oh, this super three is really cool. All right, all right, all right. Let's just do some bosses for a bit. There is six bosses, but there's also like five challenges instead of running guns. They're kind of like bosses though, like mini bosses. It's reminiscent. It's like, it's something in between King Dice mini bosses and the mausoleums, but very, 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 very cool. All right, this boss is hard. Dude, these bosses are no joke, by the way. They're all insane. Like, I got wrecked. Of course, I'm trying to use all the new stuff as well. All oh, right, I need to dash past this. So this weapon, it gets more narrow the longer you hold. Like, if, if I don't hold lock, this weapon's really wide, but if I hold lock, it gets narrow. And you can actually hold lock while jumping and it stays narrow. Oh yeah, absolutely. They did an excellent job with everything I've seen on the DLC so far. This weapon has insane pierce as well. Like it just freaking goes through everything, man. It seems like that could be really OP for certain things, like Ribby. You just do double damage the whole time. Oh, the BX is cool too. Oh, that's not the right EX, but. Oh, this phase is sick. We'll see if Expert's any different. Oh, I tried to do uh, her invincibility roll. <laughs> Dang it. Um, I honestly have no idea, Pavi. There's some really, like, interesting things. Like I said, this, this weapon, the fact that it has infinite pierce is insane. Like, the, the potential, there's some potential in just that. Um... The, uh, this, this weapon, this weapon has interesting, uh, things just because the angles are so wild that you might be able to make some creative things happen. Also, the EX, uh, is pretty interesting. Like, check out this EX. This tornado weapon. It kind of swirls around. But it's like roundabout EX, like it can hit like, I think it's like six or seven times or something to get full damage. But I just don't know how much damage it does. Uh, Miss Chalice is actually really good. Although I don't know her uh, about her on plane levels, that's the only thing. I haven't done like uh, any proper tests. <laughs>
<laughs> it changes the music when it does that. Oh, ow. Oh, God. Yeah, this is a really... I, I really like this mechanic. This guy's cool. <laughs> you can also hit this dude a little bit, I found. To get a little damage in. Oh, my God, I forgot about that. Dude, it's so much faster on Expert. Not that it was slow on regular, but that was just way faster than what I was used to. Yeah, that I think that attack has infinite pierce as well. So the, the biggest thing about this weapon is long range and pierce. The only thing is you have to, if you want it to be narrow, you have to hold lock the whole time. Which is actually really interesting. Like, that's a very interesting mechanic. It's just a bit to get used to. I'll, I'll definitely try to go for all the S ranks and everything as well. Yeah, you could damage her some a little bit too. I think it car probably carries over. <laughs> ah! Oh my god. Ah! Don't talk, no! Yeah! No! <laughs> Dang it. That was a pretty good attempt. Oh, I just realized the the little, like, bug or whatever announces the thing. He's like, it's a real high-class battle. That's a nice little touch. Oh, the one good thing is apparently they fixed... There used to be this thing in the game where when you would drop through a platform and then parry, you would just fall through the platform after. But they actually fixed that glitch, which is actually so nice. That's like literally the nicest thing they fixed for sure. Because that was just an all-around bad mechanic. Like, well, it was a glitch. Oh my god. Yeah, see, you could hurt her a little bit. Oh my god. I guess you can- you could stop that if you parry the tongue. Oh my god. Oh dang it, the freaking tongue, dude! God dang it. Yeah, it's such a it's such a wild phase, dude. I love it though. Dude, look at this five head weapon, dude. This is the most five head weapon that's ever existed. I don't even know how to hit how to hit with it, dude. Half the time. Like what's the angle again? <laughs> actually the most fun it's so like some fights it's pretty obvious like it, it's really good on some fights like it just works really well because of where the boss is a position oh i need to show you all the super her super three is sick miss chalice has all her own supers yeah check this out How cool is that? And it leaves behind the spear that you could parry. Which, and it actually gives a card. So you get a card refunded. Plus just like having the parry that you can use. It's really interesting.
Ah. Oh my goodness. Dude, that tongue actually lasts for a while. So with this chalice, it's kind of hard to parry that because her parry is her dash. I actually think that would be easier with Cuphead or Mugman. Well, that was weird. No, she doesn't have regular parry. She has just the double jump. <clears throat> yeah, hear him? Good day for a swell battle. <laughs> the freaking announcer. Oh my god, I forgot I had this weapon. Oh, I kind of wanted that. Oh god. Yeah, that's that's one of those things where the character feels great, but it takes some getting used to. Like, cause she just she's different. Like her jumps aren't. I think her normal jump isn't quite as high, but she can get more height in total if she double jumps. Oh man, let's get some another one of these boys. Oh, I tried. I tried to get the dash. <laughs> yeah, the biggest RNG is probably where this guy pops up. Or is he always in the same spots? I guess I didn't pay close enough attention. So cool. That's like my favorite super animation by far. It's freaking amazing. Wow, that was fast. So that super actually does a lot of damage. Oh! Dude, it's so hard to parry that. Oh! Okay, I thought it would make his tongue go back in, but even if you parry it, it kind of just gives you a jump. I see. So it's very unnecessary to parry that. It does look like it gives you a card, though, which is cool. So for Cuphead and Mugman, that's actually going to be super useful. Oh, I didn't even see that guy coming up. <laughs> wow, they actually voiced, voiced him to say all the different starting lines. Oh. Dang it. Oh. I'm getting destroyed. Yeah, there's like a lot of stuff that's different. I'm trying to use all the new stuff. Oh boy. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> well, 
Yeah, yeah, for sure. Interesting. So you can you can get rid of these like that. They just kind of blow up once you get near them. All right, let's go for the S rank. Oh my gosh, dude. I don't even know what hit me, man. I never I never look at those guys getting called out, I think. <laughs> Dang it. Well, let's just try to beat it this one. This did a lot of damage, so. Oh my god. Okay. All right, here we go. The big boy. <laughs> Dude, I, I love the animation of this. It's so good. I could just focus fire that thing down. That makes it way easier. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh my god. They bait you. <laughs> it's like goofy. There we go. Alright. Let's go. Let's go for the S ring. Um Twist Up isn't very good here. Hmm. I feel like just just this weapon, this converge is actually super good. Yeah, it says not they they say their own version of the knockout. They try to bait you in, dude. It's so good. Oh yeah, this super two is insane for this. For S ranking. The heart ring is technically insane too, but I, I want to play as Miss Chalice so she's new. Yeah, twist up is pretty scuffed for this. Maybe we'll do crack shot for the utility. The EX on crack shot's really good. Okay, yeah, he's a little bit random, but it's not too bad. Yeah, there's one parry. Oh, this is where he summons the guys. This is what always gets me. If I just focus on them, I should be... Oh, I still got hit by something. It's okay. We can take one hit. Well, actually, maybe more, because I can get a... Uh... I could use a super. Her super's pretty cool. Her super, too. It gives you a freebie. So like the... F oh, see, it used the heart instead of me taking damage. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, Dran. I, I love it. I'll get to it. I'm trying to do uh, all the S ranks now. I've already beaten all the uh, bosses on regular. I tried really hard. Well, I instantly wasted that.
Yeah, it really is action-packed. There's a lot you have to look at. Ah! Okay. Here we go. I wonder if that's damaging this guy or the last phase already. Oh my gosh, it's so hard. I almost had the super too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm just stalling for the puzzle. Okay, this, this attack's tricky for me. Oh my gosh, dude. I, I, they always get me. Yeah, the puzzle. There's a puzzle, and it's apparently really hard. I haven't been able to figure it out. So if you see him holding the caterpillar, he yeets it, dude. As soon as he gets on screen. Yep, he's eating it. Oops. Okay. Dude, I'm already faking, like, this is gonna be so, so fun for everybody, dude. Like, uh, Sublime doing hitless runs of this is gonna be really cool to see as well. Cause this is, these bosses are really chaotic. Oh, and what's cool is if you already have the heart up, then if you try to use the super again, it just uses your EX. So it doesn't like waste it. Oh, that was hurt. That was rude. Give me away. <sighs> Did I get three uh, parries? I don't know if I did or not. The, this is the debate. Don't fall for it. Oh, he gives you parries too. Oh my god, dude. He gets so fast. Okay, I think that's an S ray. Yeah, I'm playing. Uh, I'm playing controller. You can see my input display at the bottom of the screen on the stream. Oh, I didn't do it fast enough. <laughs> oh my god, dude! I was just screwing around with the ending. I forgot to care about time. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We have. We know what must be done. Now let's just get good. The Calipiter alert! Oh, and if she gets a parry, it does refresh her dash, which is really cool. Oh, I hate this attack. Okay. What hit me? There's still stuff I don't I don't even know what I'm like what to look for. 
do need some more parries, I think. Oh, I knew I was screwed there. Okay, oh my goodness, that parry didn't work. Huh. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, that's the plan. Just get good. Oh my gosh, dude. Ah! <laughs> dude, it's so hard not to get hit. A brawl is surely brewing. I think he always kicks the caterpillar up. Does he only do the caterpillar if he's in the middle? Oh, I kind of wanted that, but I didn't want to get hit for it. He shot him. Dice twins. He fought him. Twitch chat. He taught him how to honey a bottom. I need to get a banjo. <laughs> yeah, it is all about the banjo, dude. Oh, God. Ah! Dude, it's... Okay, here we go. I'm even gonna zap this guy a little bit. Bam! Oh, right, because I need to use the X's as well. That's part of S rank. Dude, what is that tongue debate? Okay, the debate. Oh, I think I need a parry from this guy. Oh. I thought it was every... No! I don't think that's S. I think I needed a parry. I think when you do hit him at the start, it actually does damage him. I did get the time. Yeah, I had, like, no parries. <laughs> I wasn't paying enough attention. We're close. We've gotten each, each piece individually. It's just a matter of putting it all together now. Yeah, the time is tight. I mean, I, I am, I could be using a DPS super or just, you know, EX. Oh, no, he can do the caterpillar on the bottom as well. I wonder if he can do it on the top. Probably, I guess. Oh, my gosh, dude. Oh! Wow, her her parry is not very... Uh, it's not very... It's forgiving, I feel like, it's Cuphead and Mugman. It's like the, uh, the hitbox is really tiny. You need to, like, dash into it. You can't really, like, get it from below or above very easily. Yeah, they're they they have their fake knockout. <laughs> it's not the real knockout. <gasps> Dude, when you're not ready for the caterpillar, he's so rough. Oh boy. Oh, rip my super. Oh, I kind of wanted that parry. I don't even know what blew it up. Oh, I meant to get under there.
Okay, I'm getting parries. Ah. Uh. All right, we're just gonna try to get through this. I think I need one more parry still. Mm, I tried to parry it, it's so hard. All right. That's a good point. Oh no, she can't, she can't, she is a charm. She, she is a charm, so she can't whetstone. She's the perfect woman. <laughs> she... <laughs> okay. Oh god. Dude, the caterpillar. I thought I could get over top. No whetstone, dude? Heck yeah. Actually, my dream. Did you just see that? I like 100% dashed through that, dude. Or maybe those things are just jank specifically. Ow. Oh, when the phase and those all blow up. Okay, and the explosion's bigger than, I got you, I got you. Okay, I know it's been hitting me a bunch of times now. Ah, I wanted that. I actually really like this weapon though, it's really cool. Like, this is the one of the weapons I didn't think I'd, I'd like as much as I do. <laughs> Dang it, dude. Well, at least we got all our parries. <laughs> Dang. Dude, parrying that Doug is, like, so messed up with this chalice. Oh boy. <gasps> no. Oh, I wanted the parry. Um yes, you can. It's just I'm I'm so not used to this stuff. <laughs> She also has this invincibility roll that I just keep forgetting that it even exists. Oh boy. So I've got two parries, that part's good. Dude. What just... <laughs> what even hit me, man? Oh. Yeah, it's super trippy. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, though. I'm having a blast doing this. I'm glad these bosses, they actually made them, like, actually hard. I haven't even got a single parry yet, I don't think. Oh god. Oh wow, these guys still come out. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> Dude, 
Dude, I need like a million parries still. Oh, that's not good. I kind of need some parries. I'm gonna have to go for the tongue if it pops up. Oh. Okay, I got a bunch of parries. Oh, I lost my thing though. Dang it. Okay. Oh god. Um. Okay. Dude. <laughs> I swear her dash is so rigged, dude. Like, is it just me or did I dash into the parry and I got hit out of it? Yeah, for sure. It's gonna be a learning process for everybody. Dude, is it just me or did that barrel not give me a card when I parried it? Does it not count? Nice. Was that, did I get three parries though? Uh, if the barrels counted, I think that's the S rank. Dude, that guy is like no health. Dude, what? The barrels don't count. Dude, th th that's why they don't give you a card. The barrels just don't count. Didn't I get three? Cause I parried two barrels and then one one at the thing at the start, right? God dang it, man. I feel like they don't count. <laughs> Thanks for the ads, the sick dodge. <laughs> oh boy. I know those, I think those rings count. These count. Yeah, they give you a card. <sighs> I try to figure out why I'm getting hit <laughs> when I when I dash into the variable. Oh my gosh, I never look at those guys. It's okay. It's not over yet. One parry. Okay, we can get the super here. Okay, we killed the barrel. I didn't get the. Tr I wanted to try the barrel again and see if uh, that's actually not working. Oh 
Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, dude. The barrel doesn't count. It just kills it. The barrel doesn't count, dude. <laughs> I wonder if that's a glitch. Oh, really, Secret Force? That's awesome. Yeah, I legit, I like prepared a bunch of food for myself and everything. So I don't have to worry about cooking today or tomorrow. I, I could just freaking play this game nonstop. So I, I want to do like literally everything. Get all the S ranks, all the achievements, all the things. Yeah, I actually remember to look for those little dudes this time. Oh! Yeah, the barrels don't count, so I don't even have to worry about going for the parries in them anymore. Oh, I thought the thing would uh, disappear already. What if you had enough, if you did enough damage, if you could just kill the boss right there? Man, I might have to go for the freaking impossible tongue parry, man. Okay, I'll just try to parry the last phase once. No! Wait, let me see if that would have. Was that three? Yeah, because it actually lets you hit the snail. Okay, so his parries count. At least we know that much. At least we know that much. Hey, Trollnado, how's it going? I'm super interested in that, Trollnado. I'm super interested in that. I'll definitely be experimenting with stuff like that. Um, like later on once I've done all the stuff in the DLC. I'll give a more thorough testing of the stuff. Right now I just want to use it just to get a feel for it and because it's the new fun stuff, you know? I haven't got a single parry yet. That's not good. You know what I think it is? I think it's like something to do with this boss. I think if like you dash and you get that weird dash where it like kind of lands you on a ledge because I just jumped up to this ledge. I don't think the parry, her parry works uh, in that position. It could be some other reason though. Oh, I got that. Nice. Okay. So I still need two parries. I guess we'll just get them in the last phase, even though that's really hard. Yeah, yeah, I did do the devil. I just, I haven't actually, like, you know, given it any real good testing yet. Oh, that's not good. Oh my gosh, dude. Sometimes it's actually really hard to, uh... To get around that. I mean, I'll be streaming like a long time today. But I'm going to stream a long time tomorrow as well. So I'll be around. <laughs> You'll probably see my stream online a lot over the next couple days. Okay, I got two.
gotta watch out. These things all blow up. So I need one more parry. Oh, I went too fast. Oh, that's what you need to do. When she's out far, you gotta go in close to get the dodge. I'll get one parry last phase. He's pretty good at baiting you. Okay. Nice, that has to be it, right? Oh, I got an achievement, that has to be it. BS rank? Oh. There we go. All right, we got the S. That was actually pretty hard. That was actually pretty tough. All right, one S rank down, five to go. Which one was this? Oh god, this one? Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, dude, this is so fast. Dude, this, this is like bullet hell extreme. Extreme edition. Dude. <laughs> I, I, can't, I don't know at all what I'm looking at, man. I've beaten this boss on regular, but this is even crazier. They added a couple extra attacks, I think. I don't remember some of this. It's so good. Welcome in, Zero. Oh my god. Yeah, this is gonna be an S rank and a half. Welcome back, gamer attack. I really like her uh, two tone. She can't use whetstone. She's literally the best woman. How's it going, man? Good day for a well battle. Here goes. Mandita, thanks for the follow. Oh my god, the dynamite! Oh my god, dude, it explodes twice. Oh my god. Dude. What is this phase on expert, man? Dude, oh my god, I see now. Dude, this is so much harder on expert. Like, this was a hard phase on regular, but this is way nuttier. Oh god, this phase on expert. Oh, the nuke you don't have as much control over as Miss Chalice.
<laughs> this is so nuts. A gal can't enjoy a moment's peace without you meddling. Her mini planes, uh, bolt fangs are nuts. Yeah, dude. Crack shot. Which one's crack shot? Let me see. I forget the names of the new weapons. Oh, yeah, it's like Chaser, but apparently close range, it does good damage. The EX seems really cool, too. I'm really liking uh, Converge. Twist Up is like the five-head weapon. It's super complex, so that'll be really interesting. Yeah, this is harder than Cal. By a, this is like the hardest plane level ever, I feel like, dude. That's her mini bomb. Dude, there's so many things. Okay. Oh my goodness, I gotta watch her too for the lasso. There's the lasso. Oh my goodness, that other guy that throws the little cactus. Yeah, her nuke, it forcefully flies at the boss. It kind of feels chonkier though. I don't know if that means it actually does more damage, but it just feels chonky, her nuke. I'm gonna nuke this. Cause this phase is insane, dude. Oh my God. Such a trippy thing to try to figure out how to move through that. I I think that would be cool, Secret Forces. We'll have to see like what people want to do with the main categories and stuff. It's honestly possible that Miss Chalice We'll have to test stuff, but it's possible she could be really useful, even even just speedrunning normally. But if she's not, uh, a chalice percent would be awesome since so she plays so differently. Oh my goodness, I can't. Those little flying guys are what gets getting me. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay.
<laughs> oh, this is the yodeling song. Okay, at least I beat it. The S rank is gonna be tough, dude. The S rank is gonna be tough. <sighs> Yeah, which I mean, you know, if it was a category extension, like we, we have stuff like one gun charge, right? So you could have some really arbitrary rules like, okay, you need to like get Miss Chalice ASAP and then play the whole run as her or whatever. But we'll see. I honestly think she's going to be useful, but I, I, you know, we won't know for sure until later. All right, let's go for the S rank. How's it going, Mark? And welcome in. Have you got to play the DLC yet? Who who of you all in chat have got to try the DLC? It's I've been having a blast with it. The bosses are really hard though, which is great. Dude, that's so messed up. Maybe can you kill the bird? I know you can kill those guys, but I kind of need them for parries. The dynamite bird, though, is what's messed up. Especially when you're on the bottom part of the screen. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I already beat all the bosses. I'm just trying expert. Well, trying to get all the S ranks in particular. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm so bad at these things. Seeing like which end's the open end. <laughs> I am your worst nightmare. Yeah, the thing that worries me most about Miss Chalice actually is her plane levels. Because I think for her gun to be good, it would have to just straight up do more DPS. And then it actually might be really good. But, uh, yeah, I'm not so sure. This fight would be easier for me to S rank with uh, Twin Heart instead of Miss Chalice. But we got to use Miss Chalice, right? We got we to gotta try to S rank everything with Miss Chalice. It's not about, you know, making it easy, you know? Uh, just a tiny bit. I just went back and, like, beat the devil and did a couple random fights just to, just to see if anything was different. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude, the stake is so fast. So you really want to stay in the back of the screen. So that that doesn't get you on the first loop. Okay, so maybe save nuke for this and then go in. That lets me skip a little bit. Oh, 
I just realized... Because of when the yodeling starts of the song, it's like the yodel of shame, I bet. Because <laughs> I bet if, like, it, it took you this long, that it means you're having a slow run. <laughs> it's the yodeling of shame, dude, for a speedrunner. <laughs> It's so messed up, Pommy. S-ranking this is nuts. This brings me back to like trying to S-rank Wally back when I was new to the game. The yodel of hope. I, will, I do want to try to kill the bird, but... Oops. Yeah, I think if I get hit in phase one, I'll retry. Just to give me some more HP for phase two. Because phase two is really rough. Well, so is phase. Honestly, every phase is insane, but. Thank you for the follow. Um, Joseph? Dude, it still had projectiles blowing up from the last dude. Oh, she's doing this again? Oh my gosh, dude, they can actually block you out of- I can't quite S rank this, but let's see if we can get a 2 HP finish. Nice. <laughs> oh, the yodel. <laughs> it's so great that there's yodeling in this game. Alright, we're getting closer. We had 2 HP on that one. So that's, that's not bad. That's not bad. All right, come on. We gotta get the S. It's gotta be done. No lasso today. Dude, this song is, it just pops off. I love it. Oh, I got hit. Good day for the Yodo starts around 137. Wait, really? How, Markin? Good day for a well Now go. Oops. Can't be too close. Okay, I think I I think I'm seeing a pattern with that explode thing and that's gonna help me a lot if it's real. So middle side. I think the middle is always has an opening and then the side. So middle side. Oh my god.
Yeah, this should damage into the next phase some. I'll hopefully shorten this phase, because this phase is like brutal. That was greedy. No! <laughs> I couldn't keep it together with the yodeling, man. The yodeling was too much. Yo, what's up, Bronkle? I love it. I'm trying to get the uh, the max ranks uh, right now. Oh, how? This match will get red hot. Oh dang, my power just went out. I've got everything on backup though, so I think the stream should be fine. Okay. It was the dream, I just I just couldn't handle it, man. It was too much bliss to experience uh the yodeling, a yodeling of that level, of that caliber. A high caliber yodel. I just saw the lights go out. Yeah, that's like one thing that's not on backup. <laughs> oh, I, I'm. I can't. Yeah, priorities exactly. I'm close. I can feel the S rank. Oh my goodness, I. Okay, just don't Here's get close. PC internet, yeah. Who needs lights? Lasso. Middle side. Attack. Sure, why not? Let's do a nuke. There's a, it seems like there's a lot of parries in this fight, so I'm just going to kind of assume that I get all the parries. Okay. 
There we go. That has to be it, right? I ha I think that has to be it. We even got the Yodels of Hope. Okay. Nice. There's the S rank. Sweet. That's two down. Two down. Oh boy, this level. Oh, this is gonna be a tricky one. Hmm. No, there's no running guns. But there is there is these special levels that aren't included in here. This is gonna be hard. This is <laughs> Yeah, there's some surprises on this level for people who have not seen it. Let's just say there's some surprises. That's why I actually know how to fight, fight this phase, because I got wrecked in the last phase so much. Yeah, yeah, it is. I think it's the real cat instead of the robot, the big robot one. I think it's actually the real cat. Yeah, this, oh, this weapon's actually much better for this. All right, this is where the fun begins. Yep. Ah. Oh. This is actually how the fight works. <laughs> mm. Okay. These dodges are so crazy, dude. Okay. Just kill her. Okay, wow. I might have actually just first tried that. That's insane. I did get wrecked on her a lot on regular, so I spent a lot more time in this fight. No, the time? Dude, that was one second off. Wow, they actually changed it. Oh, no, it worked. It worked. Okay, it still worked. We're good. We're good. That's right. It, okay, so it works the same way in the base game. The time is it lit up yellow past two minutes. But as long as it's under two minutes and nine seconds, you still get the S. But yeah, isn't that fight cool? Just just casual first try the S. Yo, Keto, how's it going? Here's a real high class yeah, it's really crazy. I'm going to use try this weapon out a little bit. It's like ch chaser, super chaser. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh. Okay, we gotta see what the S rank entails on this guy. All right. Oh, wow. Did you actually even get in between those? On Man, that's so much less forgiving on Expert. Hmm. How do they actually intend you to dodge that those swords on Expert? I mean, I get invincibility roll through them, I guess. Because I miss Chalice, but... 
Aw, oh, dang. I hope you get the feeling better, Keto. That sucks. Um, I've been doing good. I mean, I've, j I've been just building up hype for this DLC for a little while now. <laughs> just been really hi excited to play it. It's crazy it's actually here after five years. Oh, okay. So you could kind of double jump over it. Wonder how Cuphead and Mugman deal with it. Wonder if you could just you could actually get over the top. Oh my gosh, dude. That second phase is actually really tricky. Good day for a swell battle. And begin. Yeah, they they the difficulty is really high. Dude, those things follow you super hard. Yeah, Mastermind for real. Oh, that's so tricky, man. There's like so much stuff happening at the simultaneously. Like on expert or on normal, he wouldn't combine all these attacks this fast. Like there's a lot of like attack comp combining that makes this so hard. Oh my god, dude, that thing shoots so much faster on Expert! Dude, this is a- this fight, they cranked it up to 11 on Expert. Good day for a swell battle. You're up! Yeah, absolutely, Pavi. Like, it's gonna be really interesting once we start messing around with speedrun stuff. Interesting, when you use one, it gets rid of the old one. Oh. I think it's better to probably milk it some and then use it up. Ah, oh, that was a good attempt on the S rank. Nice. Okay, at least that beat it. What's this achievement I just got? Ranger. Oh, attain A rank or higher on all bosses. Okay. 
Okay, so I don't think time is gonna be an issue. It's just a matter of... It will be an issue if I start using the, the Super Q. Um, now that I don't know. I don't know if it counts. A great slam and then some. You're up. I could test that later on, like on Root Pack or something. <laughs> a brawl is surely brewing. Gotta be a little bit careful there. Yeah, it could be a big deal if it counts. This wizard actually doesn't have that much health. Seems like a good EX to just kind of throw out there. Yeah, true. Since it's uh, ground level only. Ah! You really don't want to get cornered by that. <laughs> Oh, the whale ate it. They could also run into it. It's kind of interesting. Ah, oh, that was greedy of me. I guess I could use the invincibility roll as well. It's something I always forget about. Yeah, I could do like that. This attack is rough. Man, her double jump is really nice to have for that. I don't know if I've gotten three parries this fight. Dang it. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> yeah, the roll is cool. It has invincibility. You have to hold down and then press dash. Yeah, that was a little too slow anyways. Yeah, the S ranks on these are actually pretty tight, at least with these weapons. Like, to be fair, this one weapon is kind of like a chaser weapon, so I can't imagine it does very, a lot of damage. Oh, I, I rolled the wrong way. Oh, 
Oh. A great slam and then... Uh, you could use any of the weapons. Um, you could use all the base game weapons as well. Uh, but there's also this uh, this tornado thing. I I don't. It it would be good maybe for the first phase, but it's it's really uh, it's really tricky to use this weapon. <laughs> yeah, you could use any weapons with her, so you could still use lava spread. And like Mugman and Cuphead can use these weapons as well. This match will get red hot. The only thing that's uh that's completely different for her is the uh, the plane levels. On the plane levels, her uh her bullet and mini bomb are just straight up different. What if that does damage when it hits them in that way? <laughs> Here's a real high class bout. Now go. Ah. Uh. This mm. match will get red hot. Now go. For how simple this first phase is, it's surprisingly difficult. Uh, that's the special of it, of it. It's pretty good. At least it seems pretty good. I don't know how much damage it does, though. Oh, that was dumb of me. But yeah, I'm, I'm mostly just using all the new stuff right now just for the, uh, just to try it out, you know? Oh God. Like, I think if you just wanted to S rank, it'd probably be easier to use, uh, like, charge shot. Since it does so much damage and, and you can hit bosses like this really easily. Yeah, so if you hold the lock button, it starts to tighten. Like, more and more until you let go of it. Come on, just get him. I hope this is fast enough. I hope it's fast enough. That was hitless. <laughs> yes, under two minutes. Nice.
All right, another S rank. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> I do wonder, like, how long these bosses, like, what kind of times we'll get on them on the speed run, because they all seem like pretty long fights. Like, but you know, you never know until you're actually speed running. So I have uh, Glumstone, the giant, and then the uh, the final boss to uh, finish out the S ranks. Thanks for the GG. Um, trying to think for the giant. Ah, uh, the tornado would be pretty tricky. Yeah, we'll just rock this combo. Here's a real high class belt. It's on. I wonder what happens in two player if both both people equip the uh, Miss Chalice. Hey, Kenna, how's it going? Um, I've beaten the whole game already. <laughs> the whole DLC. I'm uh, I'm currently on expert, trying to get the uh, the highest ranks, the S ranks. Um, so the the storyline um is there's like this chef. Well, essentially. Oh my gosh, dude. Uh, Miss Chalice wants to be like whole permanently because she's like a ghost. She's like in the astral plane or whatever. Um, there is a cookie, which is what I'm using right now, that like lets her basically swap places with Cuphead or Mugman temporarily. But it's not like a permanent solution. So there's this guy, Chef Saltbaker, who basically says like, um, Hey, we'll, we'll help you with that. Just gather some ingredients for my special recipe. And then, like, later on in the game, uh, at the end, once you've beaten all the bosses, the other bosses, um, he, he's, like, in his, like, secret lair, and he's, like, captured Miss Chalice, and he's, like, trying to basically, like, eat you. Like, cook you up for dinner. So he's, like, actually evil. And, um, so you have to beat him. And then once you beat him, uh, so Miss Chalice can't become, like, permanently whole, uh, in the end. Because, like, for her to do it, you basically have to, like, sacrifice somebody. So she doesn't want to do that. Like, that's the only way. Oh my gosh, dude. This is insane. Um... So she just, basically she's just still gonna stay a spirit, and, and, except for when Cuphead and Mugman eat the cookie. She shoots lightning? <laughs> These are just the, there's like three new weapons that anybody could use, any of the characters. Um, but yeah, once you beat Chef Saltbaker, like he, uh, he has to like work. Basically he, he's like, has to work for all of the p citizens of the land for, for his evil sins. Yeah, it's super fun. How's it going, Tupaka? Thanks for the follow, Poison. A great plan of <laughs> Can't resist the cookie. But yeah, she has a double jump. Um, her dash is her parry. And she also has like this invincibility roll. Um, it's kind of hard to demonstrate on this fight, but. Also, she has her own supers. So this is her super too. It, uh, it gives you like the first hit you take, like it takes the hit for you. So it just took the hit for me there, though, which is really nice. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> it's possible. I'll just, I'll have to test a lot of stuff out.
Okay. Oh, I tried so hard to get over there, dude. Dang it, that was so close to the S-Ring. Yeah, Cuphead and Mugman are exactly the same. Um, like, Miss Chalice is an actual different character. Uh, like, there's no difference between Cuphead and Mugman at all. But for Miss Chalice, you get an extra hit point, so you get 4 HP. You get the double jump and the invincibility roll. But the caveat is that she uses a... She's a charm. Because of the cookies, what allows... Uh, allows to play as her, like to bring her from the astral plane. So you actually have to have the cookie equipped. You do get this charm by just literally coming to the DLC island at all. Which you can get to the DLC island from any of the mausoleums. Basically you beat a mausoleum, then you can get here. Um, and you just get the cookie when you show up. So you could just, uh, you could just equip this and play as her um, to get those different different advantages. Oh, and her supers are different. On plane levels, her bullet and mini bombs are completely different. Um, like her bullets shoot in like a like a spread kind of thing, like three bullets, and her mini bombs are like super fast and wild. Her super is different too on the the plane levels. It's still a nuke, but it's like yeah. So on plane levels, she's like super different. A brawl is surely brewing. It's on. Yeah, cool. It's a tricky one. Oh, I wanted that. Yeah, dude, I think um the the parry thing is a little bit scuffed for her. <laughs> I think if you like dash onto a piece of land, it eliminates your ability to parry. Which is pretty weird. I'm guessing that's a glitch, but. Who knows? Uh, an hour and 20 minutes. I wasn't rushing it though. Like I was just trying out a bunch of stuff. Oops. Well, that got lost quick. That was for regular difficulty and now I'm on expert difficulty trying to get the best ranks. Oh. So I have to I have to stay above three HP. <laughs> or three HP or above. Oops. Well, I lost that quickly. Oh my goodness, these these gnomes. Yeah, the animation's amazing. Wait till you see the uh, the last boss. It's it's incredible. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I see. So you have to kind of keep track of their heights. I see. I kind of okay. I'm gonna get an idea here. Here's a real the dog fight? Yeah, that's really cool. All right, I'll see you later, Poppy. Yeah, I'll still be here in three hours. That's for sure. I'm not the geese, dude. Oh my god.
Okay, let's get the extra heart. That's going to be really nice. Well. <laughs> it was nice. While it lasted. I'm really curious if there's some way to avoid going into his stomach. There might be a secret phase. Nice. Okay, that might be the S rank. I might have been too slow, though. I don't know if I'm uh, fast enough. <laughs> okay, we're good. All right. Now, this is going to be the hard one. The final boss. I'm going to try to go for the S rank. You all get to pre enjoy this animation. Okay. So we've got S on all of these, just Chef Salt Baker remains. Oh, thank you, Gory. Yeah, it's it. I've there's so much potential in this. It's gonna be amazing. I can't wait to just try everything out. This a dish to die for. This is gonna be rough. <laughs> oh boy. This fight is insane. <clears throat> A brawl is truly brewing. Here goes. Oh my gosh. Uh, the animal crackers. Okay. Let's get the extra HP. Oh my god, dude, there's so much stuff on the screen. Mm. Uh, <laughs> dude, I can't. Mentally, this is so taxing. Just to, just to try to see everything that can hit me. All of this stuff can hit me. What even is this, dude? Okay, phase two. Oh god. What's gonna be different? Oh boy. Okay. Oh. Yeah, the animation's incredible. There's some of the, like, this every is phase is, is just awesome. This is like the epitome of, of men like, mental multitasking. Like, <laughs> there's like 60 different types of projectiles constantly flying at you in this fight. Expert is even like way more insane than regular was. Like some of the fights on Expert were pretty similar, but to regular, but this one is <laughs> in nuts. Oops. Okay. Yeah, the leaves don't do damage. Oh wait, do they now? They don't they didn't in regular. Um was the leaf hurting me? I couldn't tell if something else was hitting me or if it was the leaves. I'm 
pretty sure they didn't hit me in uh, regular. But maybe I was tripping. I want that. I wanted it. Dude. Dude, imagine. Dude. Poor Sublime, man. I feel bad for hitless runners. <laughs> Dude. You imagine doing hitless all bosses and you gotta do this guy? Oh my god, that's gonna be so hard, dude. Doing this hit list is gonna be so ridiculous. Like, with especially like this crap he does with like pea shooter only and stuff. That was the fireball? Okay. Ah. Uh. I just need to try to even beat this fight on expert, let alone get the S rank. Man. I tried to, wait, was that the leaf? Leaf, are you hurt? Leaf is hurt, right? Yeah, he does, he just murders him. Yeah, look at him freaking squishing him. <laughs> Dude, the I've, I've, I've always focused on dodging, so I never got to look in the background that much. But yeah, he's just so rude to all these people. Oh my god, those poor limes. Look at him, he's so scared to get squished down the dough. Dude. Well, oh, I see, there's these little flames at the top that keep bouncing. I see. I, I was wondering where those were coming from. They just glue to the top of the screen. Yeah, yeah. This is this is why he's evil. Like in the storyline, like he's really evil. And that's why when you beat him, he's basically like a prisoner to the island. And he just he like in the ending cutscene. Well, you'll see it if I beat him. I think it'll probably play the ending scene. Hmm. Ow. Ah. Uh. Um. Dang it, that flame. I didn't think it would come straight down. But I guess that's what they always do. Okay. Oh, so I get it. Instead of being on the top, these flames are just jumping around the bottom now. That's what makes this so much harder. I think the leaves actually do hurt you now, too.
Yeah, you have to kill the salt, and then it, like, basically smacks him, and that's what actually hurts him. Okay. Now you get to see. Look, look at the background on this. So good. Cuphead's trapped because I'm playing as Miss Chalice. That's funny. Normally it's Miss Chalice in there with the, the, the first playthrough. Oh boy, here we go. I wonder how much different this phase is going to be. Okay. The music, too, is incredible. Oh. Okay. I at least beat him on Expert. <laughs> but I got to get the S rank now. <laughs> Let me see if it plays the ending sequence so you can see it. Yeah, it looks like they allow you to get a longer time on this boss, too. Because he's such a crazy fight. I got an achievement for that as well. I'll defeat 10 bosses with Miss Chalice. Oh, wait. Oh, this ending's actually different. Because normally it's it was Miss Chalice in there. So they actually uh, animated this different if you're playing as Miss Chalice. Thank goodness you're okay. Oh, yeah, then it swaps him. Okay, I see. He had a sud wink the whole time. Now it probably plays out the same. Hey, Splatoon gal. How's it going? Eek! My bakery. Hey, Davkin, welcome in. How you doing? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. But yeah, never going to get the wonder tart that he wanted. Oh, really? Yeah, see, I haven't actually watched the, I haven't actually watched the show. Um... Not not hitless Davcon, but I am trying to get the S ranks, which is close to that. Oh, I've beat the DLC, uh, Splatoon Gal. I um I've been trying to get all the S ranks. But yeah, it's see it shows him like where he's working for all of them. <laughs> After what he did. Uh, S rank, you have to beat the boss within a certain time limit. You have to use six of your cards and actually make them hit. Like six super meter worth of cards. Um, you have to get three parries. And you have to also... Um, uh... You have to uh, have three HP or more when you in the fight. It's hard. So I'm a, I'm going to uh, um, get through this, and I'm gonna try to S rank uh, Chef Salt Baker. This is gonna be really hard. <laughs> yeah, the music's so good. Oh, I almost have 300%. So beating these on expert gave me a lot more. 288. So I guess it goes up to 300. Yeah, this is going to be hard. But this is the last one. Yes, it is, Kenna. I'll let you listen to it uh, once I get this S rank. So I'll, it'll put me back there. Just give me uh, 16 hours to get this S rank. <laughs> A brawl is brewing. And begin. Yeah, just 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 a small 16 hour wait. It 
at least with this weapon, I can focus on just dodging. And I think it's a little better than Chaser, I feel like. Oh my gosh, dude. The flames. The flames make this so much harder than it already is. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think what I'll do is just try to mostly use the Super 2. Because it looks like they give you longer than two minutes to beat this fight, since it's like a super fight. Um, for the time limit. So I think I can get by just, just chasering it up, focus on dodging. Use this to clear out these things, the animal crackers. And, uh... Then I'll just use Super 2 to help give me more HP. Still at four. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh yeah, the leaves do hit you in this. That was the flame. Let me let me double check. The leaves are very weird how they hurt you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta dodge the leaves as well. I, pr I think on regular, like, they just don't even, like, hurt you. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> this fight's so messed up. It's really hard to dodge all this. But it is the final boss of the DLC, you know, so they had to... And it's on Expert, see? So they had to go all out. But this is, this is easily... This has to be the hardest fight in Cuphead. Like, at least in terms of of getting an S rank. <laughs> this is nuts. There's so many animal crackers. Oh boy. More HP? Ugh. Ah! Mm. Uh, just let it be over. Um. Okay. Ugh. Okay, this is going pretty well. Ugh. Oh, the heart thing kind of glitched, didn't it? A little bit. Okay. It shows two. Well, they, they, oh my God. They added these, uh, these little things at the bottom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't realize that's how that worked. So this phase, once you get into it, it's not too bad. Okay, it's kind of bad, but I I feel like it's, it's not too bad. Honestly, phase one is the hardest. It's so ridiculous, the, the amount of stuff that you have to dodge. 
Yeah. I think I am used to those bosses, but the the projectile density I think is higher here than, than anything else in the game. And it's not even just, like, Cal, there's projectile density, but it's just one attack. Like, it's just the sparks, and they're, they're in a pattern. Um... The penguins are pretty bad, but yeah, this is even harder. For sure. Oops. Because the thing with the penguins is it's literally just the balls that you, and, and like dealing with the platforms. So there's like two things. Like right now, there's like four different, there's three different types of things. Actually, the strawberries are coming. So there's four different types of attacks that are coming after me at once. That's what makes it so tricky is like the amount of types of attacks. <laughs> there's the flames at the top jumping at you. Um, ice cubes, there's going to be the limes. Although on regular, this guy, he wasn't nearly as bad. He'd only, I think he'd only do like two attacks at once, kind of, instead of like four. Like if I wasn't, if I didn't have this chaser weapon, this would be so hard to also track him. Like shoot him like this while doing all this other stuff. Like that's actually going to be insane for a speed run. I don't even know what weapon you'd use on him. Okay. Okay. This is pretty good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Ah. Uh. Okay, it's okay. We had an extra heart ready and waiting. Okay. All right, here we go. So don't be in the middle. I think I actually he might just. Oh, I think he tries to land on you, actually. Okay, how do you get on the ledges again? Oh, you're just gonna, okay. Man, the fact that she has a double jump helps so much with this fight. This might be the S rank right here. Okay. Is it? I might have not been fast enough. I don't know what the time limit is. That, that be it. Nice. Okay. So that's all the S ranks. <sighs> With Miss Chalice. <laughs> Thanks for the GG, Kenna. Alright, cool. Oh, let's do a... We'll do a split for that. I don't know what this timer's going for, but... All S ranks, we'll, we'll mark that. <laughs> I just remember the hour 20 was the base game. <clears throat> hey, thanks for the GG's, everybody. Yeah, sure, Kenna.
Oh, actually, um... Oh! Interesting, it didn't play the credits. I guess because I've already beat him on these difficulties, it just skipped the credits. Like, it didn't take me back to the title screen, which is what it does when you first beat this. Interesting. Um, so there's, there's also some other stages, but, um, yeah, I could, I could show the bosses. I'll just go on regular difficulty. I haven't tried the bosses on simple yet. <laughs> So this guy's pretty cool. These things blow up when you get near them. Um, yeah, those guys come on the side. And then he he kind of brings out the boys. <laughs> These little bee things, or whatever they are. Oh, the caterpillar! Yeah, this phase is really cool, too. It also changes the music because of this uh, this thing a little bit. <laughs> it's a cool effect. And then here comes the big boy. With the little guy. Small snail. <clears throat> and then... Knockout! Just kidding. <laughs> It's a fake out. <laughs> they, the actual, because uh, <laughs> there's like this whole community here. They try to, they try to trick you by dropping the knockout flag to distract you from the boss in the hat. I don't know. I'd, I'd love to, to, to see some of this, uh, like. Like, I hope they do a DLC art book like they did with the base game, where they explain all the stuff. Because it's, it's really cool. Oh, I'm going to go extra slow on this so you get to hear the whole song. The song is extra and so good. So I'll try to survive a while and not kill it too fast. A great slam and then some. Now go! You can see too her uh, Miss Chalice on plane levels is just completely different. Oops. Oh. Her Duke too. Woohoo! It, it forcefully flies at them, her Nuke. Like, it just ramps up speed and just keeps flying on at him. Yeah. <laughs> if it does more damage, it's actually super OP. But I haven't I haven't tested any of that stuff, stuff yet. Oops. Man, I might not even make it to the end. This fight's really hard. This phase is insane. Ah! <laughs> okay, I'll try to we gotta get to the one part of the song. I'll try to survive. Come on.
We have entered the yodel. <laughs> I, ha I had to let it. I had to let it get to the yodeling. But yeah, sh th that's a cool fight as well. It's hard too. Like on expert, it's there's so much stuff. It's really fast. Yeah, I, I feel like they did that um, for all the plane stuff, which is really interesting. <laughs> um, did you see this one? This one's uh, really interesting. Oh, I should show the other weapon too, because it's actually pretty good for this fight. Um, yeah, I'll try the other the other weapon here. This is like a five head weapon. Um, it's a tornado kind of thing. Look, it's Wormin. Or at least like the cat. It's the real cat though, not the robot. It's the actual cat. <laughs> yeah, this this EX is pretty wild as well. Ow. But it's pretty good for like this. The tornado EX. Like it's really good for these guys specifically. This is cool. I love the animation of this so much. And this happens. And this. Oh my god, I forgot how to do this. And that too. Ah! God, dude, it's so trippy. Yo, what's up, Narga? Welcome in. Dude, Salt Baker is no joke, man. I think it's the hardest boss they've ever put into Cuphead. Which, I mean, he's the last boss of the DLC, so... But he, he's really hard. Have you been having fun with the DLC, Narga? Hope everyone has. I've been having a blast. Oh. I know, right? But who knows, you know, Lava Spread originally was thought to be really bad on a lot of fights in the base game, too. Sometimes you just need the right strats, man. Dude, this is the trippiest. The controls for this are so weird. Okay, there we go. Oh. I don't even know what that means, Darga. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Try it.
Control B. Is it in the options somewhere? So it's only in the levels? Oh, you can only do it during this level? Here's a real high-class belt. Here goes. Do you think at a speed run, though, it would be worth turning that on? The time it takes to turn it on? Oh, that's actually pretty good. Those are getting like full ticks, dude. Big damage. Oh man, I'm not, some of these tornadoes are missing literally everything. Ow. Ah. Yeah, control A, I, I, it's so hard to maneuver. I didn't even know there was another option. Wait, what? Oh. Yeah, that is better. Yeah, yeah, okay, I see. That's interesting. I wonder if you set this, if it stays that way, because I do think that is better. Because it's trippy. With control A, when you're like this, you have to hold, still hold up to shoot this way. Um, because it thinks you're here. So control A, it's like up is this way, like sideways. But with that control scheme, you're literally aiming like left, like you're aiming the direction. Like you're playing from the perspective of the screen, not from the perspective of your character. Yeah. It's super trippy. So B is like what makes more sense for us, and A is like what makes sense for Cuphead himself. <laughs> I guess. Hey, did you see this one, Kenna? Were you in for more time or freeze? I can't remember if you had made it. Yeah, Esther is really hard. That's not how you say more timer. <laughs> is it Mortimer? Dude, Narga, real talk, do you think if this weapon, I, I hope this is like the highest DPS weapon in the game, dude, because if it's not, there's no way we're ever going to use this tornado thing. <laughs> it's so impossible to use, dude. So it, it needs to be super high damage. Like, if it does spread bullet damage with this range, it might actually have a place. <laughs> They're so five ed. Like, look at this. This is how I would hit this direction. I have to aim down right. So if I aim straight forward, like, does that. So you have to aim, like, angled down like that. Oops. It's so five head. Stop. 
<laughs> oh, uh, all the characters can use these weapons. They're just new weapons you buy. Yeah, I'll show you here. Um, so that you just have this whole array of weapons now. So you have the originals, then you have Crack Shock, uh, Converge, and uh, Twist Up. And then uh, her the one thing that's different is her supers. Uh, Spiral Pillar, Shield Pal, and Ghostly Barrage. Oh, this is beautiful. Super 3 is so cool. I'll show this one off. Uh, I, I think you did see this fight. I'll just load in this fight so I can show you the super, though. I really like Crack Shot. Here's a real high class belt. Like, for this, for the deal, like, dude. Have you seen a uh, expert Chef Salt Baker, Narga? I don't even know how you'd ever actually aim bullets at that boss. <laughs> I feel like you need a freaking Crack Shot, man. Oh, let me save up EXs so I can show you the super. It's awesome. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's super cool. I love it. It. I don't know if it'll be good for speedrunning. Like, depends on the damage. Dang it, man. There's got to be a way to not get eaten, right? I'm calling it. There's a secret phase that involves that. Because I haven't found any secret phases. Okay. Now we need the five heads of chat to help. If you know the solution, do not... T time out anybody, Narga, that knows the solution. Um, that, that tries to say the solution. Because I don't want any help if you know the solution. But if you don't know the solution to this puzzle, I'm fine with you helping. So, here's the puzzle. It's here. This guy says, Say, young fry, I'm hot on trail of on the trail of a mystery, but I'm stumped. That contest of skill, that broken artifact, this eerie graveyard. Okay. So this is the graveyard. I'll show you what the contest of skill and the broken artifact are. You solved by accident. I have discovered potent astral energy in all of these places. There must be an order and method to it. So, the, the contest of skill is right here. It's these three. There's first, second, and third place. The broken artifact is this. Broken relic, unknown. A simple bauble of unknown origin. So it's a seemingly a charm that does nothing. That's the broken relic. This is the contest of skill, and that's the graveyard. Now, before I, I go into those guys, because I need to do this in order to make it make sense. On all of the gravestones here, except the middle one, you could bring out these ghosts. There's three, three ghosts. So you have to figure out which three spots, like the order to do the three ghosts in. So, here's where the puzzle begins. So notice the language they use very carefully. I was the first to the top, and those losers were left down at the bottom. I may have gotten second place, but I think I did all right. All I can do is throw my hands up left to wallow in third. So they, they, they very purposefully use directions in their language. Very purposefully. 
At least that's how I see it. But I've tried every obvious combination that I could think of. Like, to the top. I've tried this, the first one at top. Because this is kind of the order. This first, second, third. I've also tried it in reverse, like third, second, first. All the combinations I thought of. Um, left down. So I've tried that. Like, the first one's left down. But I think I did all right. So, you know, I've tried right um, for second. And then adds up to the left. I've tried middle left. I also, there was the idea of, like, he says all those losers were left down at the bottom. So I thought these two say I did, I was right, and I was left. So I thought, like, maybe bottom, bottom right, and bottom left. Because this one says they're at the bottom. Uh, but that didn't work either. So this is where the puzzle is. Um, we're left down at the bottom. Interesting. Top right. Because this one says, I was the first to the top. Those losers were left down at the bottom. So would that be top middle? I've tried top middle with the first one. And then three is top right, interesting. Because of the podium. So you're thinking like top row, middle row, bottom row. Because of the. Mm. No. <laughs> I don't know how you're coming to the conclusion that this is top right. I'm trying to figure that out. I was the first to the top. I was first at the top, and those losers were left down at the bottom. I may have gotten second, but I think I did all right. All I could do is throw my hands up left to wallow in third place. So this, the only directions that second place gives is he says right, and the only directions that this one gives is left. So the, the first one's the confusing one because he says a lot of things. Left down. Where are you getting the uh, the top right? Uh, where's the right coming from? Because I see the top. Is it because he's saying that they were left and down of him? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I haven't I haven't tried interpreting it that way, so we could try that. Left down. Then he's right. <laughs> hey Brainlord69, thanks for the follow. Left. So right. Maybe it's like this. Yeah, I can't, I can't click middle. 
so you, you can only use the outer ones. All right and then left. They were left down at the bottom. Like I've tried a lot of combinations like this, starting with top middle, but it didn't it didn't ever really get me anywhere. So I try to take each one like not in relation to each other, but just like literally their direction. But that would be too simple, I guess. <laughs> And the, the amount of combinations is actually a lot. It's nine times eight times seven. So brute force again isn't isn't a great idea either. I was the first to the top and those losers were left down at the bottom. Yeah, you can't click the middle. got second place but I think I did all right have have any of you all actually figured out the puzzle like on your own playthroughs I know you want um, you said that like you got it just by accident I don't want the solution I'm just curious left down at the bottom Try everything. What do you think, Narga? Is it is it two five head? <laughs> it's first to the top. So he's got it's gotta be in the top, right? Those losers were left down at the bottom. Hey, what's up, Bexy? The one thing that freaks me out is what if there's, like, wrap around? Like, when he says right, maybe it, like, wraps around to the other side. Top right. Okay. Maybe top right, bottom left, bottom right. There's also the fear that that it wants you to do them in reverse. So I, I was at the top to the left, but maybe it's wrap around. So we start top left. The guy said he's right, but at the bottom, on the left. Or wait, it would be here. Left at the bottom. Yeah, I'm tr you think I wonder if the top I was at, at the top is a bait like a red herring <laughs> it's got to be with starting with one of the top ones right I'm stumped. Contest of skill, broken artifact, eerie graveyard. 
Wait, if you don't have this equipped, can you not do this? Oh, you can. Huh. So I wonder what the broken relic does. Hmm. What'd you think of the DLC, Bexy? I've got all the uh, the S ranks. A few of them are pretty dang hard. <clears throat> top, left, right. They were at the bottom, so top. Or right, left. I think I've tried all these. <laughs> I wonder if there's anyone else that would give a hint in this island. About you. Best baker in all the lands. Turns out you cuffs are tougher than cast iron. If you keep knocking heads around this aisle, might clean the place up a bit. Top left. Oh, so maybe the left is in reference to him? Maybe? Top left, bottom, middle, bottom right. <laughs> 55 with lava spread, nice. You know, Bexy, I, I'm not even so sure, man, about lava spread. It's gonna be really interesting. Cause dude, like, salt baker with lava spread? Like, does it? Can you even reach him that well? A brawl is truly brewing. It's on. Like, dude. This is pretty bad. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. It's going to be tricky. <laughs> that's that's all I have to say. Yeah, yeah. I else, yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, charge is at least better, but charge is so expensive. The DLC weapons, you can get access to them instantly, I think. We'll we'll worry about I'm gonna worry about routing the speedrun later though. I'm trying to figure out this other stuff. Uh let me look at the achievements. So I wanna get all the achievements, so let me see kind of if there's some I can go for here. Oh, defeat a boss with one of Miss Chalice's super arts. Okay, we can do that. Uh, I don't know yet. Hell, uh, I'm Tropics. Um, the, since the game just came out, I haven't had time to test it everything yet. It's going to be very interesting because we have a lot of options. I actually like her a lot. I don't know if she'll be worth it for the speed run. Well, okay. The big make or break for her is if her plane bullets do more DPS. Because it, it's kind of like spread shot instead of pea shooter. But if, or I guess it's more like the new weapon converge, but if they just straight up do more DPS, that might actually be really good. Um, My favorite weapon? 
Um, I really like Converge. Like, Converge plus Crack Shot combo is actually pretty cool. That's what I was using to get the S ranks. Yeah, her plane is completely different. Nice. Good luck, Bexy. I'll join on all the speedrunning stuff at some point. Converge is really good. So I need to finish a boss with a super. Yeah, I'll just do this. This will be this will be simple. I'll just do super one. It's going good, gamer attack. I've got all the S ranks, and I've just been uh, trying to get achievements now, and trying to figure out some secrets and stuff. I need to start saving up for, uh... Start saving up for the super so I can actually get the achievement. Oh, wow, uh, it doesn't uh, track too well on that. Got that achievement. <laughs> so far I've done three bosses and all the King uh, Leap mini bosses, which is pretty, uh, yeah, that's really good. The the King uh, Le King's Leap mini bosses are so much fun. Stuck on Briny Beard. Uh, charge Shot is, is very good for Briny. I'd say that's the best. Okay, what other achievements we got? Have nine HP at one time. Oh, do you just equip Twin Heart and then do the uh, Jimmy cheat? The new Jimmy cheat? Oh, there's also this. Oh, does it not? It doesn't. I don't think it counts this for the achievement. The Jimmy cheat. Interesting. So I guess I have to use the parry thing and then play King Dice. Oh right, I'm not Miss Chalice. <laughs> That's funny. I'm, I'm, I'm already used to doing the uh, her parries. This HP is hilarious. The Jimmy thing, I don't even know how anyone found that. But that's just, that was added in the uh, the patch 1.3 that came out yesterday.
Not yet, Kenna. I was uh, just getting some achievements for a little bit. I'll come back to it. doesn't count for uh, the, the HP. So yeah, I think the only way to get that other achievement is to do King Dice with the new charm. Knockout. Oh, a uh, Converge might just be the best weapon in the game unless the DPS is low, though. Dude, it has Pierce. Like, dude, Rivian Croaks? Like, imagine just doing double damage the entire time. Yeah, you could parry it. <laughs> it's really hard with this chalice, though. Like, this thing has infinite pierce. It just goes through everything, man. So I'm guessing it would double hit uh, anything with a double hitbox. Sally, Umbrella, um, Wormin on phase transition um Rivian croaks like the whole freaking time on phase one and one um I'm not sure how many other bosses have overlapping hitboxes but yeah 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 but that's that's why dude I really like converge crack shot I have I have a feeling this might legit be a combo Unless the DPS is just so bad. But the thing about crack shot is I feel like the EX probably does a lot of damage if you use it perfectly. Like if you use it, let it shoot some bullets and then either parry it or you could just use another one. If you just use a second crack shot EX, it makes the other one fly at them and blow up. And you don't even have to do a parry. So I feel like this combo has a little bit of potential, but it depends on the DPS. Oh, it has an anteater. That's cool. So there is actually some kind of method to the madness there. Dude, I almost put in a three, but I last second clutch dodged it and got a four. Oh, there's also these levels. Um, let me show these levels off because... Actually, let me see if there's an achievement I can get. Oh, is, uh, is King's Admiration bugged? Oh, this just isn't updated, is it? Because it says defeat the King's Gauntlet, but haven't I done that? Have I not beaten the King's Gauntlet? Oh, this is the King's Leap. Who shall you challenge, Anon? <laughs> Pick up crack shot for S ranks, but for the first pair, I want to do without the uh, weapons. Yeah, it's amazing how much references they fit in. But yeah, let me show you all these levels. So I didn't show these off. Um, I did do them earlier, but it was like at the start of the stream. These are really cool. You don't have any gun. So you have to, you have to play without a weapon. Oops. Maybe now that I beat everything on Expert, I unlock another level or something. Yeah, it's like mausoleums, but they're a lot more interesting. Like, that one's a lot more like a mausoleum. But wait until you see some of these next ones. Is this the horse? Yeah, I love this one. 
This one's really cool. Yeah, you hurt him by parrying him. There's so many cool strats. Like, look at that strat I found. You can get four parries in that way. You can also get two in there damageless, but... You have to be not too greedy or you just get wrecked. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Dar I can see it being a Dark Souls boss. Oh. Uh. I always forget about that attack. You need to not do that. You can get two in with that without getting hit. That one's hard to do that strat. Oops. Oh yeah, that's that move is the uh This match will get red hot. Oh, is there a come here move if you stay far? Oh, it is distance based. Good call. I didn't even I've never even knew that move existed. A great slam and then I literally now never seen go. that move. <laughs> Cause I always stayed close to him. Uh. Oops. Oh, I almost got the strat, but... But yeah, if you're not trying to be a speedrunner and be greedy, it's not too bad. Wow, that's crazy, Narga. I, yeah, I had no idea that existed. I guess he just never does it if you stay close. Oh, you can get three in. Uh, I'm so greedy, dude. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so these fights are really cool. I really like them. They're they're very creative. This one's cool. See, so when you parry this guy, you have to uh, put out all the flames. And then you can parry him again. Uh. Chalice is nuts for this. I feel like they were made with her in mind. Oh, look at this little glitch. I'm like running into him. Uh, I haven't done the Rook, right? Oh, wait, is the Gauntlet new? Was that not there before? Yeah, I, I, it'll be cool. At some point, I'll... Oh, this is cool. Um, I'll do a... Uh, like, a, maybe a Chal Miss Chalice run or something like that. That could be fun. Like, start a fresh file, get Miss Chalice, and then do all bosses or something.
There we go. <laughs> yeah. I, I I love all of this. This is this to me, like this is cooler, I think, than getting like running guns. At least the sixteen. Oh, there is a new boss. Oh, I wonder if I unlocked that because I beat uh, Chef Salt Baker or whatever. So there's a there's a boss I haven't done in these. Like I've done this one. This one's cool. You have to try to aim these cannons at her, or rather, the cannons aim themselves. But when you time your parry, is when it fires. This is going to be so tricky to speedrun, man. These cannons are hard to aim, and I'm guessing she's random. Like, she's going to move around differently every time, probably. Like, it's just a whole different skill set. But I guess this would be more for an all flags than a all bosses. I don't know. I feel like these are kind of bosses, but n not kind of bosses. There he just does no bounds. So this is new. Oh, thou shalt face all challengers in sequence. Okay, I haven't done this. So I probably only get the same amount of health for all of them. That's going to be tough if you don't get any heals. Hmm. It is kind of like the second King Dice. It's like King Dice, mini bosses, plus mausoleum is how I described it earlier. Good day for well now okay, you do heal. Maybe you just have to one-shot him. Yeah, I won't be too greedy. Oh no. It, I don't know what he what that is. I was too far. Ha, oh, I'm too slow. Oh man. Well, you gotta really react fast. I didn't realize how fast you had to react to that. Does it start back at level one? Haha, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So you get your health back, but you do have to beat them all first try. This one's pretty easy. Oh, look at the little, the little ghost. He's, they're so happy. He's so at peace. Ah. Uh. Ah, oh, that attack is so tricky, man. Okay. 
Oh, that would be so cool, Narga. Oh, that's gonna be tricky, because that means you probably can't practice them either without... Like, you have to do all the fights. So it could be like, uh... Like Hollow Knight's... Uh... Whatever it's called. The fifth one. Where you get a special boss. I love it, Nether Cole. Also welcome in. Okay. Ow. Yeah, yeah, I've got all the S ranks on all the bosses. Although this might have an, a different boss, quote unquote boss. This is a special thing called the King's Gauntlet. It's kind of like something in between King Dice mini bosses and mausoleums. So it's kind of some uni more unique challenges. You don't have your weapon at all. And you basically all the damage comes from parries. What I'm doing right now is I have to beat all of these guys in a row. <laughs> Which uh, should be interesting. Oh, God. Okay, let me try to not mess this up. Oh, it's a limit to how fast you can parry these. I see. Uh, there's six bosses. And then five or maybe six of these things, what I'm doing right now. There's three new weapons and three new charms. Although one of the charms, I have no idea what it does yet. It's like a secret. I think I know how to unlock its power, but I just, I don't know how to actually do the puzzle that you need to do for it. Oh my God, I'm, I'm choking. How is he still alive? Please kill him. Dude, he's got like infinity HP on this mode. Okay. That was scary. Yeah, exactly, Narga. I, I feel like we could call this bosses. This could be all Good bosses, day. right? Well like, I think some people make an argument that it's more of a all flags kind of thing. Because it doesn't show, it doesn't have a scoreboard track in like times. Well, I guess actually running guns do have that. So these are just different. Like they're just different than anything we've classified in the past. Honestly, the thing they're closest to, I guess in terms of like completionists is uh, mausoleums. But the only category we do mausoleums in is full clear. And I feel like that would be a disservice to how good this is. So yeah, I don't know. I, I would make the argument that this should be in all bosses. I think you should have to beat all these freaking dudes. Although if there's a bonus one at the end, that's going to be kind of rough. Because you'd have to do all five of them, then do all five of them again in a row to get the last one. So... It's going to be a little bit tricky. I've never wasted such an unmatched strength and endurance. I bestow onto the, the greatest gift of all, a king's admiration. Oh, okay. So it, there isn't an extra boss. It just gave me the achievement. Oops, I didn't mean to go in. So, yeah, you could probably put this into all bosses. You just don't have to have the king's admiration. <laughs> yeah. It would have been cool if there was an extra one, but... There's still maybe, like, secrets and secret phases and stuff. Like, I haven't found much in the terms of that. I really wish I could figure out this relic. 
Oh yeah, achievements. Defeat a boss on equal Al 4 without killing any of its minions. Wonder what boss that would be easiest to do. <coughs> I could use charge to be careful. I could probably do it here. I don't know if this is the smart smartest choice. What if these bombs count as minions? Also, I forgot I'm Cuphead. Oh, I'm killing minions. Yeah, maybe not this fight. M Mortimer? Yeah, that's a good idea. Let me uh, let me be Miss Chalice for now, cause I'm u I'm used to these fights with her. Okay. Oh, those little guys in Phase One are actually gonna be a pain. These guys. I guess it's kind of okay, though. Oh. Dude, I gotta be so careful. There's like these pop- No! There's popsicles. Dude, the double jump is pretty sick, though. All oh, right, this is an expert. <laughs> So I gotta watch for these popsicles. Ah! Oh my god, I'm so glad I hit him and not the... Um, I don't think so, I'm just on regular. Yeah, they're so good. Every fight's incredible. Did that give me the achievement? It did not. Hmm. Did I kill a minion? Or does this boss just not... It says a boss on equal Al 4. I feel like I was pretty careful in not killing anything. Maybe it does. It doesn't say how it has to be on expert. Oops. Oh, I just killed something, didn't I? What did I kill? All right, sounds good. Good luck with the uh, salt baker, Narga. Ah!
<laughs> I like the little uh, bows they have. Oh god. Oh, maybe my EX from that tracking thing killed one of the popsicles or something. Did they just die on their own because the last phase started? Surely that doesn't count as me killing it. Okay, that counted. I must have killed something on accident earlier. Okay, cool. There's also two hidden achievements, but I'm guessing one of them is solving this puzzle. I don't know what the other one would be. Um, so one thing I wanna do is, I ha for the it's other achievement, I have to get nine HP. And I think the best way to do that is actually going to be go, going to King Dice using this charm. This is a new charm. It says gain one HP on your first, third, and sixth parry. So my idea is that if I fight King Dice with this, and then I also get all the bonus hearts, I'll get nine HP. And not, that's how you get the achievement. It says get nine HP. I think that's the only way you could possibly do that. Um, so I'll knock this out real quick, because I do want to get all the achievements. Oh my god, uh, wait. How, how, how would Miss Chalice do this boss? on the, the last phase. That would be so tricky. I just thought about that. Because, you know, normally you just keep jumping on the cards, but that's going to be crazy with the dash. Now go! So I also need to do this fight hitless, which shouldn't be too bad. He should almost be dead. Yara is, he is a lot of health. <laughs> if it wasn't for the fact Mobber is super OP, uh, we would never even touch that fight. Okay, so as long as I don't get hit, well, I guess I should go for the parries too to try to farm some more hearts. Whoa. Oh, that was the heart charm. That looked cool. I like that animation. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Oh, I'm bad. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Actually, let me do this with uh, Lobber Spread, because Charge is too 5 head for me. Um, let's see. And then I'll do Super 2. Alright, so I just need to do this hitless. Uh, I could do 2, 5, 8. That seems fine. <clears throat> yeah, this is actually kind of a tricky achievement, though. Cause you also have to make sure that you get through and get the parries and never get hit. <laughs> 
Okay. So after, yeah, after I get this, there's only three other achievements. I didn't see what the one was. Like the only other one that they actually tell you what it is. I think honestly, if I play the rabbit with the speedrun strats, I'll I'll do better. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting seeing like like King Dice, for example. Like, how do you even approach this boss with this chalice? It sounds really tricky. Now I just need to get through 8 ball without getting hit, and then I should be able to farm up the, the last HP on the final final form. I do wonder if there's any other way to get the achievement, or if this is actually the only way. Playing King Dice with this new uh, thing, and getting all the hearts. Here's a real high class battle. And begin! Oops. Yep, jump blocking is still in the game. <laughs> That's for sure. I do wonder, like, what normal weapons, like, spread and all that, like, how fast it kind of, like, kills bosses. There's gonna be so much to consider. It's gonna be a lot of fun figuring out what the new good stuff is. This map will get red hot. Here goes. Wait, what happened to my HP? Why do I only have six HP? Did I get hit? I'm pretty sure I didn't get hit. What? <laughs> How does that work? Yeah, I guess that didn't work somehow. Hmm. Maybe I need to avoid parries until the end. I could try that. Let me get some decent hearts. I don't want to do one. I, I hate one. Maybe I like wasted the, 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 the thing or something. Okay, I'm gonna really pay attention to my health here. So I'm at four. Here's a real Still at four. Here goes. I'll try to avoid parries until the, the final phase. Maybe that somehow ruins it. Yeah, I, I am curious, like, how Lava is spreading some of these other weapons, how they're going to hold up in the uh, the old DLC land. Okay, so just be careful. Don't parry, because I think it might mess up the charm. <clears throat> Good day for a slow battle. Now go! Uh. Okay, we're going to avoid the parries. So that's, a, that's the only thing I could think of that would maybe have ruined it. Okay. So I'm still at 5 HP. So far everything is working as planned. Yeah. Oh, I gotta do Pirouetta. I should have re-rolled this. 
That's gonna suck. Okay. Pirouletta. This match will get red hot. Now go! Okay, thank goodness. Okay, so now if I get all six parries against King Dice, it should work. It should put me up to nine. For the achievement. A brawl is surely brewing. Now go. Dude, it's making me lose hearts. Dude, do you see that? When I first started getting it, it put me back to four and then made me lose them. <laughs> I think this is bugged. <laughs> I don't think I could get this achievement like this. Well, there is a way to get it. It's gonna suck, though. Let me think about how I can do this. I think it's bugged, but I think I can still do it. It's just gonna be hard. So, what I wanna do is I wanna get six berries, then start over, and then get the three hearts. So let me try to get some hearts on some good bosses so that on the retry I don't get screwed over. Um, I guess let's do number one. Uh, I can't get to 9 HP in the tutorial. The heart charm uh, gives you a max of three bonus health. So I need three more health from somehow. I think King Dice is the only fight in the game that I could like give myself three extra health. Okay, so there's one. Man, it would be really nice if Lobber didn't get blocked by these guys. Two parries. Probably could have just farmed that, but I'll get the parries elsewhere. We'll figure it out. It's funny because they said they were going to fix that. The fact that the the drink blocks your lobber, even when it's dead. But I guess they didn't. <laughs> okay, so three. So now I'll do rabbits. Oh my god, I did not realize I had super that freaked me out. Okay. I'm not even sure if this will work. It might glitch as well. But this is, I think, my best shot. Oh, what do I do here? This is kind of awkward. Because I still need to get a bunch of parries. Yo, Ryan, how's it going? I guess I'll do this. And then... I don't know what I'm going to do, actually.
Okay. I'm trying to get all the, uh, the, the DLC came out for Cuphead today, and I've been trying to get all the achievements. <laughs> so I'm trying this really crazy one right now, but I'm not sure. I think I might have already messed it up. Okay, now I need to get start over. Can I get three parries... I guess I just need to stall out on Cigar and get his parries. I think Cigar has parries. Does Cigar have parries? He doesn't, does he? Uh, I think I ruined it. I think I have the right idea. Let me let me see if this even would work. Let me see, so two. Poker Chip doesn't have parries. Hmm. Okay, it would work, I think. Yeah, because I got plus one. Okay, so this this can work. I just need to get the right mini bosses and play it the right way. But I don't think there's any parries on this fight, so I can't make this work. Okay, so I, I know what I need to do. Yeah, this won't work. Okay, so there's a there's an achievement to get nine health um, on any boss. And there's this new charm from the DLC called Heart Ring. It says gain one HP on your first, third, and sixth parry. And then King Dice, there's three hearts you can get from landing on the different spaces. So that would get me nine. Now, the weird thing is that it's like, I think it's a bug right now, but... If you get the the King Dice Hearts first, and then you try to use the Heart Ring, uh, it reverts your health backwards to like three. Like it just it gets rid of the King Dice bonus health for some reason. Um, so my goal is to try to get the three HP from the Heart Ring first, then start over, go back, and then get the, the three bonus hearts, and that should get me to nine for the achievement. We'll see if that works, but. I'm going to use the bathroom real quick, and then I'll uh, see if I can get this achievement. Be right back. All right, let's see if I can get this. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's gotten this achievement yet, because this is pretty convoluted how you have to get this. Um, let me think about this. Three, six, eight. That's fine. So let's start on one and let's just I'll just try to farm the uh, the one dudes for parries. This max will get red hot. Now go. <laughs> oh crap! I need to not get hit as well. Okay, I can't have the heart on one. Yeah, because I I need to farm parries. Okay, I can make this work. I kind of don't like the one heart being on a six, but we'll we'll we'll, we'll deal with it. <laughs> Here's a real high class bout. It's on. Okay. There we go. One. 
Oh my god, I'm so bad, dude. <laughs> yeah, this will work though. I think this this is the strat. This achievement's super convoluted, but I think this should work. Um, yeah, this is fine. So I can also try make sure I get two off the rabbit. So I just I only need four parries to farm four on this thing. Now go. I could probably just farm all of them just to be safe. Dude, I always forget how slow he is because I'm I was thinking of it from like expert. Yeah, this is fine. Pretty much as long as there's not a hard on one or a nine, um, I can make it work. <laughs> Small mouse, thanks for the uh, follow. Okay, one. Oh, it's so it's so good. They really outdid themselves on all the bosses, and the new stuff's a lot of fun. I'm just a ch I'm I'm trying to get an achievement, but once I get that, I'll I'll be back to the uh, to all the DLC stuff. Cause they added a bunch of new achievements, and some of them are pretty crazy to get. If it was your fault. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know if you're supposed to take that as a compliment or it's an insult. Yeah, like I'm, I was thinking that too. Like, how, how do you even take that? Man, it's gonna suck if I mess this strat up. <laughs> this is so tough. Okay. Now I can kill these. And I can kill this guy. Very carefully. Okay. So. Now I need to get through. Actually, now I can just get all the hearts. Yeah, 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 yeah. So at this point, as long as I don't get hit on two, four, or eight, um, I should get the achievement because that should get me to nine HP. Good day for us. Well battled. Now go. So this play is kind of safe. Oops. Okay. So I just got to get through number four without butchering it, and we'll we should be good. Dude. Okay. I think that we should get the achievement. <laughs> Please work. I just gotta land on the old eight ball. Three. And go for a two. Okay, cool. Got it. Achievement unlocked. Hardy. All right, so I, I have achieved nine hearts. I guess that's the absolute maximum that you could possibly get in any situation. <laughs> the 
without like uh, cheats or something. I guess I'll finish the fight out because why not? <laughs> So I've all, I think I've almost got all the achievements of the DLC already. A brawl is surely brewing. You're up. Nice, there we go. Okay. So, now that I've gotten that, let me see what I got. Yeah. The only two achievements I have left to get are hidden. So I don't know what they are. I have an idea of what... Oh, we almost got 420. I have an idea of what one of them is, but... Yeah. No, it's, it's not really leather. I guess this, uh, this part is sort of the, uh, like this, but the actual, uh, jacket itself isn't. I just, I, it's funny too, cause it's actually hot today. I just had my AC on for too long cause I was addicted to the DLC and I kept forgetting to turn it off. <laughs> yeah. I think one of them is figuring out this charm. The broken relic. I don't have any idea what the other one is. So let me go to DLC land. I do want to take a break and eat here soon. I've been going at it for almost six hours. Like, I'll keep the stream up, though. I, uh, I legit prepped food, so I won't have to cook anything. So I won't be gone for long. Oh, I'm curious. Does my file completion, is it 300% now? Nope. Only 88% of DLC. Uh, not, not yet, Silky So Smooth. I appreciate the offer, but I'll try to figure it out. I think, I think I know how to get one of them. I'm not so sure about the other one. Hmm. I already got this secret. Unless there's another part to this. Yeah, I don't think there's any anywhere else to pop out other than here. There was a hidden coin back there, which I got. Wait, this cactus is something different. Originally, this said something about the root pack. It was about veggies. Maybe I need to go defeat Goopy? It's really good, Joseph. Welcome in. Let's go fight Goopy, but with uh, Miss Chalice and all the new stuff. That should be fun. Because it says, a tale of smashing a slime. So that has to be Goopy. Hmm. Let's, 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 let's test it. Hit the dog fight. 
One thing you can try is on specifically that level, if you go in the options, there's this thing for like something type A or type B. If you switch it to type B, it's a lot easier to control in my opinion when it switches the uh, when it switches the screen like different ways. In my opinion, it makes it easier to control, but Yeah, maybe it is. That I could see that maybe being it cool. That's why I wanted to check if, like, if it, is it gonna actually change dialogue now if I go back? Let's find out. Maybe I just need to uh, beat all the base game bosses again or something. But it might need to be in an like the order that it wants as well. The busted up blimp. So that's Hilda. I guess we should follow through with this to see what the, what this leads to. Oh, I didn't mean to go here. Yeah, they do, Joseph. They work as Miss Chalice as well. All right, so we need to fight Hilda. Let's fight Hilda as Miss Chalice. That'll be interesting. Because her, her plane levels are just straight up a lot different. Like, her her guns are different. A great slam in that stuff. You're up. It's interesting, I think. Oops. This is so neat. Her, her EX that ticks multiple times is like vertical, vertically aiming instead of horizontal. Oops. So you could probably do it from up here. Yeah. It's very interesting. Dang. I kind of feel like she does a lot of damage, man. Maybe I'm just used to doing that fight on Expert, though. <laughs> like, obviously that time wasn't very good, but yeah. I, I am curious if her spread shot actually does more damage or... Because it does fire slower, I noticed. It's a much slower, like, shot. So I am curious if, uh... If it's the same, like, DPS, or if it actually does more if you land all the bullets. I feel like it deserves to do more if you land all the bullets, but... We'll see. The tail of the felonous flower fell. So it, it kind of just wants me to fight all the bosses, huh? <laughs> but 
But the problem is, is I won't know the order. Because it might want you to do some bosses before the others. You know what would be interesting? What about this weapon for Cagney? Um, did you did you install the DLC? You might have to close the game and if if you have Steam, go to properties and the DLC and then see if uh like on Cuphead and see if uh the DLC is like enabled and installed. Oh, you do have to beat the uh, the mausoleums, like at least one mausoleum. Good day for us. Well done. It's on. I feel like this weapon could be good for Cagney. Oh, I didn't have an EX. I felt like a decent pace, though. A real high -class now, go. Reinstall it? Yeah, that is really weird. Yeah, I do know you have to beat the mausoleum before the ferryman appears. But if you've done that, then I have no idea. What what kind of time that gives? 45? Hmm. I'm trying to remember what the good Cagney times even are, man. I think it's quite a bit better than that. So that that weapon might be more like round like roundabout DPS. Which means I don't know how about twist up. <laughs> I'm not sure how good it is. Cause Hmm. Yeah. The trounced tadpoles? Dude. What is... What is the trounced tadpoles? Uh, I haven't figured it out yet. I don't want any spoilers either on on how it works. I think I think I know. You you have to solve a puzzle here, but I haven't solved it yet. Oh, is that Ribby? Oh, okay. It's having me do the bosses in world order. Cause it had me do vegetables, yeah. Okay, I'm I'm gonna just as a test, I'm gonna try to do Ribby and then Bonbon, bon, and then see uh, see if it if it works the way I think, then it should say that something about Beppy. Yeah, super horse. Also welcome in. Um, that has to be it. It has to be uh, Ribby. I forgot that, like, it considers Ribby and Croak's the final boss of Isle 1. I always think of Cagney as the final boss. Now, I think Converge is actually going to be nuts for this fight. Because it, it pierces, so I bet it hits both frogs. Yeah, it's hitting both frogs.
Like, that probably hits both frogs, too. What if that was close to a, uh, to super skip? Oops. I forgot I have double jump. Oh, right, I got a dash. <laughs> so cool playing with these new weapons and stuff though on old bosses that I know yeah the, the cactus just wants me to play the video game dude the whole thing so let's try bonbon bon and see if if because then it should start talking about Beppy if it's in true list order maybe this is their way of encouraging you to try the game again with like new different weapons and such all right <laughs> let's see how this works Here's a real high -class bow. you're up Oh, wow. Yeah, it's really good against Waffle because of the Pierce. Because you can hit wa Waffle in multiple places. You can go up so high. Dude, the double jump is hype, though. The double jump is so sick. Nice, GG Narga. You got you got old Salt Baker, huh? I'm testing out something, Narga. I think I'm on. I think I'm maybe on to a secret. Like I'm working on a secret. I think. That's why I'm in in like aisle two. <laughs> Wait, are you serious, Narga? She is very good. Yeah, Joseph. The meanie genie. Oh, wait. It actually skipped over Beppy and it's... Okay, so it's not in order. But yeah, this cactus, like... Yeah, it's like... I think someone called it an assassination mission. It, it tells me a boss, and then I go and beat the boss, and then it tells me something new. Check the middle one. Yeah. I was the first to the t Oh my god, Narga. Do you think there's a chance that it's different for everyone's game so that it's not as easily, like, internetable? That's crazy. What does yours say? I'm curious. Dude, look at that finger. <laughs> All right. So I need to do Jimmy. Dude, uh, Miss Chalice mini bomb EXs, dude, are super poggers, dude. Have you seen how good they are? A is surely brewing. And begin. Oh, you haven't done the... Pl Wait, how have you not seen Chalice playing? 
Oh, did you not have Chalice equipped when you did the plane level? Wow, so four of her... I don't even know how to do this. Oh, okay. Yeah, I pretty much played the whole thing on this chalice. Oh, that's so sick. I got the one down there a little bit too. Oh God. Wow, dude. Yeah, it would be a whole new world to try to figure out how to properly do plane levels with her. <laughs> Alright. Let's go see who he wants us to fight next. What if it would make me re-fight a boss like Bon Bon? Yeah, the Miss Chalice on plane levels is what I have the most uh, concern about. The fire breather extinguished. Oh, Grim? That has to be Grim. Grim is the fire breather. Elder Kettle. <laughs> Yeah, they be making you walk. I'm hoping this is one of the secrets, though. So, I mean, something is going on. Dude, let's do twist up just as a meme. Lobber, lobber, twist up. <laughs> Are you ready for this hype twist up action? Oh my She has a little bit of a different feel to her. Just in general. And Salt Baker is the devil I've always wanted though. Always thought the devil should. Yeah. Salt Baker is, is an absolute monster. Just a beast. Dude, I'm, I'm kind of starting to think that the DPS values on these weapons are just terrible. <laughs> I bet spread is still number one. <laughs> but I, I can't say for sure until I test it out. The problem is, is lava spread is so, seems so inconvenient for some of these bosses. The bird got his wings clipped. All right, let's do Wally and Beppy. M maybe we'll get lucky and we'll skip one of the walkbacks. 
Because uh, Beppy's the only one I haven't done, but he it, it also might make me do Bon Bon again as well. Yeah. Man, Miss Chalice, the, I'm so, I hope so badly that she's good on plane levels. Because that's the one thing that I'm iffy about. I think she would be really interesting for the other levels. Moonshine? Which one's Moonshine? I don't know the new names yet. <laughs> the bird gets his wings clipped. This match will get red hot. And begin! Dude, it seems like these mini bombs actually generate your cards properly, though. I don't have splash, I don't think. Oh, this is gonna kinda suck, isn't it? Well, actually, they're getting a lot of ticks. As long as I'm close. That actually seemed like a lot of damage. I didn't realize those bullet EXs could tick so many times. Dude, can you damage boost? Do they have infinite ticks? Can I damage boost inside so the front and back half hits? Let me test that real quick on Jimmy. Like you could just get like freaking giga ticks. Let's try. Yeah, dude. It just... Wait. Is it just me or was that a lot of damage? Good job for us. Well battled. Here goes. Dude. Does he normally die in one EX? I don't know what the optimization is for this. Maybe two of these and then three, a uh, three. <laughs> I don't know the optimizations. It has a scuffed hitbox. I forgot about that. Dude. I don't know, man. I feel like those actually do a lot of damage if you get the full ticks. Like, I don't... I, I obviously, like, don't know how to do the pillars. So I had to actually play out phase... Three which lost a lot of time, but there might be some potential there. That's actually very interesting. I'd love to, I'd love if we could see how much damage everything did. We can calculate that later, but it's gonna be a pain. Uh, let me try Beppy. What's something interesting, like what's an interesting weapon with Beppy? Hmm. I guess none of this really has like any specific synergy to to Beppy. I 
I guess you can miss Chalice it, which is interesting, to just damage boost more. This match will get red hot. You're like if I'm going for Beppy Skip, for example. Let's see if let's see if I can get Beppy Skip with Miss Chalice. This match will get red hot. Now go. Oh my god, dude, I forgot about the Giga Lobber Traps. Dude, I forgot about the Giga Lobber Traps, dude. That's actually so hype. I don't even know how to do them properly, is the thing. Yeah, dude. Here's a it's so crazy. It's on. Oops. Hmm. Oh, she can also invincibility roll, dude. I forgot that even existed. Oh, do you? Oh, right, dude. I forgot there's no double damage lobber. Oh my god, dude. The lobber trap was so strong, it just deleted him. I gotta be careful. Yeah, you could roll through it for sure. That's actually pretty good. Oh, this RNG though. A brawl is surely brewing. Now go. It's so interesting, like how much Miss Chalice changes the uh, changes your play, like how you play it. I'm not used to the 1.2 Beppy skip. I forgot how it worked. Uh oh. Yeah, his hitbox disappears too. Oh, what do you think? It's just too OP, Narga? Oh, there it is. <laughs> nice. I think she actually genuinely would help with Beppy Skip quite a lot. Dude, that's a one that's a 46 on 1 1.2, man. That seems really good. Dude, you could spread EX the carrot. Oh my god, there's so much stuff I want to try. Let's uh let's go see if the clown if if we're done with Al 2 with our friend. Yeah, yeah, you don't get a charm. The new parry to heal. <laughs> By the way, good luck with that achievement. The tail of the bat. Okay, yeah, it, di it did. It did work. It is whack. How do you do King Dice? That's what I want to know. Just don't play Miss Chalice? Like, unless I'm missing something, like, how the heck are you going to do that? Do 
you have to like dash right before you touch the card. That sounds so like precise. Okay, so for for honey bottoms. Honestly, let's just rock lobber spread, but having the uh Oh my gosh, dude, it's so trippy that her jump height's like different what am I used to? Okay, let me try that again. This match will get red hot. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Narga. Okay. Thanks for the follow, Alberto. Dude, that's so sick. Oh, I'm not supposed to do that on uh, EX Amma. Yeah, because I probably over. Yeah. Because, dude, she could just jump up to, like, whatever platform you want. Dude, she could jump up too? That's so sick. Dude, you could jump up two straight up. You can't even do that in, uh, in Expert. That's actually a big deal. Oh, let me see, let me see. Yeah, true. Oh, let's see. Yeah, easily. Actually, a monster at a lot of these stages, dude. That's so nuts. Like, it would take so long to get used to her, especially the parry. But, like, the extra HP, too, dude. It's like you just YOLO into the bosses, man. Like, it's pretty insane. It's literally like the plane levels, which honestly, it looked like there was some promise to the plane levels. But there's some things you really do lose out on, like like the Hilda damage boost EX. But you could also route it to where you you like get her later in the run or something like that. So there, there's a lot of like really interesting things to think about. That would be awesome. I, well, we don't know what Broken Relic does yet, so it might be super cool too, Narga. Um, let me go over and and see. I keep wanting to go take a break to eat. I'm six hours deep right now, but I want to finish up this uh, this mini quest and then I'll go eat. Oh, what does your person say, Narga? I, I was curious what yours says, the middle person. Yeah, exactly. Like it was designed for the DLC. Not so much designed for the base game. So stuff like King Dice sounds really awkward. Pirate walking the plank. So briny. As a winner, I never gave up. Left, I'm looking foolish. Wow. What did the other two say? Your second and third place? Dude, this is the this weapon was made for Briny, dude. If there was ever a time that twist up is pog, it's poggers for Briny, man. Good day for us. Oh, I actually want to kind of stand back here. Interesting. Uh, 
Okay, I don't think this weapon does very much DPS. <laughs>
but I've tried all the, the ones that seem obvious to me. Actually... Have I just tried down, left, left, right? Surely I've tried this. Yeah. In reverse order? Nope. Um, so, the thing that I'm curious about, Wolf, I will ask for this one hint. Are they meant to be done in first, second, third order, or third, second, first? Or actually, I'll ask you, Nargus, since you solved it, because Wolf got his by RNG. I would imagine it's first, second, third. Okay. Okay. Alright, sounds good, Wolf. So, Narga, now that you've solved it in your game, is it easier to solve mine? Or does this still seem like mine is just complicated? Because I might not understand, like, the methodology for this at all, but... You think you understand mine better. Interesting. So am I approaching this wrong, do you think? It's the first to the top. Like, I don't know, like, there's words like top and bottom. I don't know if I should ignore those or, or count them. Is this game V, 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 and it wraps around? I'll ask for that hint as well. Like, if, if you're leftmost, and he's like, oh, I'm left, can it screen wrap? You know, like, wrap to the frickin' other grave on the other side? It's important that the middle one can't be clicked on. I do remember Kenna saying that it would have made sense that if you could click the middle one. Have I actually tried clicking the middle one after getting like one ghost? I right, seen a bit, Jessa. Yeah, you can't ever click it. All right, sounds good. Hmm. It's important that you can't click the middle one. So I was the first to the top. Losers were at the bottom. You're trying to solve this as well? Yeah, what's messed up, Markin, is it's a different clue in everybody's game, dude. I mean, I'm guessing there's like a list of them, and everyone's given them at random. But, like, the solution for Narga's puzzle and the solution for Wolf's puzzle are both different than the solution for my puzzle. There probably is people that, that you just happen to land on the right, the same one. Yeah. So some of these are probably different levels of difficulty as well. Like, mine is very confusing. It's really this first guy that ruins everything. He makes it so much more complicated. I was the first to the top, and those losers were left down at the bottom. So maybe he's top left? But that wouldn't make sense.
You just solved it randomly. <laughs> I respect it. Okay, well, we could try that method. There is only, let me calculate it, 504 possible combinations, you know? So... I would like to figure it out, but I, I honestly have no idea what I haven't tried. I feel like I've tried to interpret it in every possible way imaginable, but I clearly haven't. He says, they, I was at the top. There's also, if you just ignore top and bottom and you just do down left, you get this, and then the other guy's like, I'm left, I'm right. So if we use the top, he's like, I was at the top. Then the other guys should be left and right, but that doesn't work. <laughs> I was the first to the top. Think this is like a uh one of those hmm. like imagine you are the gravestone kind of things from the gravestone's perspective. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Cause then it would be reverse. Like top would actually be what I consider bottom. But that, that, there's no way that's what it is. Those losers were left down at the bottom. So maybe I track it. Up, left, down, bottom. That's the bottom left. Right. But then this is the problem, is this one just goes back left. Oh, up. I don't know how I never noticed there's an up there. Okay, so let's try it from that perspective. So imagine the middle stone, right? Top, so up, left, down, bottom. So that's the bottom left stone. And then from that stone, move right to the bottom middle. And then up and left to the left middle. I don't think I've ever tried that combo. So maybe you follow them. Okay, well, I had missed that clue, so let's try this up and left. I, I bet the top and bottom is, is a troll. It's a red herring, I bet. So let's just look at the actual directions. So left down, so that's bottom left. Middle right. Up left. Okay, so bottom left, straight right, upper left. Let's try that. Ah, oh, there it is. Got it. Yep, that's it. So, I I was just missing one of the words, and also the the top and the bottom were uh, red herrings. Take a little nap. What is this, by the way? Yo, thanks for the GGs. 
Oh my god, the time thing's dead. Wait, what is this? Oh my god, it's a boss? Whoa, this song is cool. Wish you may, wish you might, your soul is now trapped in the night. Can I play as Miss Chalice in here? This is so cool. Oh, you need the relic, right? Um, let me use charge. Actually, let me use converge. Sure, we'll do this. This is awesome. It's an actual secret boss. I didn't expect there to be another boss, to be honest. This is cool. I love this. Whoa. Oh, stuff like... Oh, it's whichever one you're looking at. Whoa. That's so cool. Dude, this is the most five head boss ever, dude. This is such a five head boss. A great slam and then some. Dude, I'm just gonna rock frickin' this thing. Oh, I need to not turn. Here's a real high class belt. Here goes. Okay, maybe I will use this. Dude, how do you even parry this stuff? Dude, good luck S-ranking this. Oh my god, this is so hard. A great slam and then some. Did you beat this boss too, Wolf? Nice. Wolf, do you think this should count in all bosses and also the king's whatever? I honestly think it should. I feel like they're bosses. Oh my gosh, it's so tempting to turn. Like the king's challenge or whatever it is where you have to f do, do the five guys. It's cool that you can kind of see that something's parryable, even if it's not phased into existence. Oh my gosh. This DLC is the best thing I've ever played, dude. I love it. How much HP is this dude got? Okay, there we go. A horrible night to have a curse. Of course they'd throw that in there. <laughs> no scorecard? Oh, wow. You just do it. Now, does this upgrade the relic? The fabled curse relic long thought lost to time awoken at last. I've seen writing that it it's... Say it despises bravery. With a greater foe, more evil shall go. What could it mean? Oh, Jinx Curio that inflicts various status ailments. Burden's Host. Oh my god, is this like Cursed Shield for Final Fantasy? What is this? Yeah, don't give me any spoilers, by the way. With a greater foe, more evil shall go. It despises bravery.
Oh, does it want to make want me to make a deal with the devil? Despises bravery. Dude, the music's all like. What if I just play a level? Like, does it do something? A great slam and then some. You're up. What? I have one HP and I can only use mini bomb. Dude, my character's- I'm doing reduced damage, too, aren't I? Dude. <clears throat> wow, what does it do on the ground levels? Does it play the music? It plays the music the whole time. Oh man, I bet I bet there's a way to upgrade it again though. Wow. Dude, it just randomly switches my. Dude, it just switches your weapons whenever it wants. <laughs> Did it just switch me to Lobber? <laughs> yes. Good charm. Dude, it literally just can use any weapon. Oh my god, I, I thought I was playing Miss Chalice. That's so cool. Okay, so he said it despises bravery. Oh, you can't redo that, boss? That sucks. Yeah, you just rush it, and you have to use it for the whole run. That would be... That's a good category extension, dude. That's a good category extension. Like, you just make the rules so they're very restrictive. You have to get here ASAP. Cursed all bosses? <laughs> Curse percent? Dude, yo, welcome, Adaka. It despises bravery. With a greater foe, more evil shall go. It's gotta be devil, right? You beat, you beat the chief with the curse relic? Dude, that sounds like an achievement in and of itself. What about devil? Man, now I kind of want to try it. That sounds like a fun challenge as well. That's so rough though, because you have to do a hitless. What happens if you make a deal? Are there normal bubble? I guess there is probably normally bubbles coming out. Well, we weren't brave, so it doesn't have anything to despise. <laughs> or maybe we want to make it angry and not do what it wants. Oh, interesting. It doesn't reverse the music anymore. What if you beat the devil with it? With a greater foe. It's either this or the f or what you did, Daka. Hmm. This map will get red oh god, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, pea shooter? Pog? Dude, I don't even remember how to play as Cuphead. I'm so used to Miss Chalice. Okay. Oh, Chaser? We got an upgrade?
Oh, this thing. Yeah, dude. Look at these angles. I got angles for days, baby. I'm dead. <laughs> A great slam and then shot. Yeah, Wolf, I, I, I want to finish like literally everything and then I'm going to start thinking about that. Wolf, I know there's an argument to be made that the DLC should just be its own category separate. But I, I truly think this would be a masterpiece of a run to have all bosses encapsulate the base game and the new bosses in one run. I feel like that is like the most cuphead thing that could exist. I I think I think the new game plus loses what I think would be the coolest category ever. Because there's so many options. Like Okay, actually, let's Mm, let me beat the devil and then I'm gonna try something really fast that that is very important for us to know But I think it works a certain way and I think it'll make the routing super interesting Dude this web this uh, charm is so cool though for real This would be an awesome category extension having to use this Oh my god, I'm, I didn't even realize it was that attack. I don't even remember how to play the game. That's the that's gonna be the trickiest part. Is figuring that out, Narga. I'm guessing it just means that you'll have to title screen once, basically. Like spam through the credits. This thing? Haha! <laughs> Peace cheater. Dude, it's swapping so much. Oh, by the way, this happened on pure accident, but I went into this hole and was just using the stupid, like, tornado weapon. Dude, it hit the devil. It, I generated, like, 20% of the card, dude. Like, the tornado, for some reason, just swoops on in and just smacks the devil. Off screen on this section. That's super random, but... I thought it was worth mentioning. No! Oh, it swaps when you EX? Yeah, you think you're right. Oh my gosh. Yo, Milibus. Thanks for the uh, for the raid. So when you dash, it swaps it as well. Yeah, you're right. That's interesting, because then you could use that to to basically have any weapon that you wanted in any for any situation. Dude, I hope this this charm actually has a use for like um, for an IL or something like that. You know how cool that would be. Where you, you just like always have the optimal weapon for every situation. Oh, this is actually good for Spider. Wait. See, there, though, it just kind of got rid of it. I don't know why. You're just finished streaming this of the DLC? Yeah, I, I love it. I love the DLC. Quite fun. I'm glad you're having a good time as well. I've been having an absolute blast. I'm messing with uh, all the new stuff that I can.
<laughs> yeah. It is a bit of a spoiler. Why did I do that? I really like that weapon. Okay, this is fine. Okay. Wait, how did I gain that HP? I don't have... It changes charm? Wow. I had no idea. How do you know what charm you have on? Okay, let's see if anything's different. This looks the same. Yeah, it's a build randomizer. That would be hilarious. Okay, so this all seems the same. So I don't think I, I maybe the maybe the what you did, Daka, is where the hint is. So mysterious. Dude, how am I supposed to beat this boss, though? No, uh, okay, okay. Before I try that, um, I, I want to see something. Now, this will this is going to be more for, like, a speedrunner check. I'm going to start a fresh file, and I want to see what this looks like. I'm not going to play a whole run, but I, I'm really curious about the shops, because I have a theory on how it works. You did, Wolf? Wow. That is so difficult sounding. <clears throat> hey, Danny, welcome in. I think I know how to do this. Yeah, it still works. Ninja Clip is still in. Bravo! Okay. Yo, welcome in, Brad. Hope you all are doing well. Currently about seven hours deep into the since the DLC launched. I've gotten all the S ranks and all but one achievement. Okay, so we have to do the mausoleum, right? Oh wait, 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 wait. Let's not do this yet. I wanna see the shop. Like, there's more we'll have to test about the shop, like the ordering. But this should be the normal stuff, right? Yes, this is this is normal. Yeah, I'm not going to buy anything. Because I have a theory that in the DLC world, the shop there actually gives you the DLC stuff. Instead of the uh, the, the base game stuff. I don't think you have to buy through all of it to get to the DLC stuff. That's my guess, but uh, for routing, that would be very interesting. Or could be. 
Oh, did you know they fixed this wolf? That. You could, like, drop through a platform and parry, and then it will actually land on the platform. That's something I know that, uh, that dude had fixed in his mod, but it's cool they actually, uh, fixed that in the real game. That's probably one of the better changes. not jump lock if you've used your double jump and there it is you could probably jump lock after you've used your double jump oh wow you don't even have to talk to him actually you could have just skipped it Oh, and it for it actually gives you a forced menu, so we could probably just equip Chalice right there for free if we wanted. Okay, so here's the moment of truth. Yep. That is interesting for routing. Because now, at the start of a run, you, in theory, have options to both the base game weapons and the DLC weapons. So even with four coins, you could buy one base game weapon, one DLC weapon if you wanted to shop twice. Or you could buy two base game weapons or two DLC weapons from just doing Forest Follies. So if any of these weapons are good, they actually are pretty dang accessible. Because you could just come over here first, buy whatever weapons, and then go straight to the boss right here. Oh, wow, this could be a different spot. I didn't know that. Yeah. There's a lot of options. There's a lot of options. So a lot of things to consider. The one of the most important things is going to be figuring out if any of these new weapons are actually good for speedrunning. I think there's some potential. Like, Converge for Ribby seems really, actually nuts. It depends, Narg, it depends. I think there's some potential. Like, it has to all be labbed out. Because, like, even Lobber seemed, like, not that great back in the day. For, for 115. So it's going to take a lot of experimenting. Oh yeah, like I'm sure Lobber spreads trash. That that's what that's what makes routing interesting though. Because you 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 don't have to think of it from just the point of view because before there's like what is there? There's roundabout spread, there's Lobber spread, there's pea shooter spread. That's it. That's literally the only weapon choices you had. You couldn't get charged, it take too many coins. But now we have three other weapons that we can consider and you have to factor in those weapons across the whole game. Um, I forget which one's Moonshine. Oh, this one? Oh, I don't have Lobber Spread, but yeah, I could try it on the other file. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure that the shop actually, it does. So here's what I'm curious about. What's the weapon that replaces the first DLC weapon? I hope it's spread or lobber. It's charge? Well, I have to say, I didn't expect it to be charge.
and then it's Lobber. <laughs> well, it looks like we're using Charge, boys. <laughs> charge Convergence. <laughs> it looks like we're doing Charge Convergence. I think a Charge Convergence is gen genuinely, like, probably actually the way to go. That's kind of sick. Oh my god, dude. Because you can use, like... Convergence actually has quite a bit of utility. You could also make an argument for Crack Shot. Charge Crack. Because... Um... I have a theory that the EX from Crack Shot is the highest damage EX in the game if utilized, but I, I don't know for sure if you utilize it correctly. Convergence is incredible. Uh... Charge Convergence. Interesting. I didn't expect charge. I, okay, here's what I'm wondering about, though. Do you think that all the weapons have charge under them? Do you think I should do one more quick test? And see if the other weapon has charge under them as well. I'll, I'll go check. Yeah, you have to lock, like, all the time if you want to use Convergence well. Um, Jolteon, um... The one that I found really particularly difficult... Actually, it was the, uh, whatever you said earlier, Moonshine. That one actually gave me a lot of trouble. And also the plane stage. Those, I think, gave me the most trouble out of all the S-Ranks. Outside of, of course, Salt, Salt Baker. I kind of like the locking all the time, Daka, though, for some reason. Like, it's just interesting. Like, it's a very interesting weapon. I, I really like it. It's my favorite out of the new three weapons. It, at first glance, I feel like the Tornado one is the worst. Because even if you five-head it and, and hit the boss with every bullet, because I tested it on Cagney, it just feels like it just does less damage. Like, it just doesn't do good damage. From first look, like, I, I don't want to make any, you know, guaranteed claims. Bravo! The EX, I imagine, it honestly seems like a roundabout EX. I bet it does, like, the same damage. It just has a different project trajectory. You could do just exclamation mark quote and it shows uh, a random quote. That's a good one, actually. All right, so. Here comes a spooky. Do you, wait, what about the base shop? What happens with the. Okay, let me test this real quick and then we're going to do another test with the base shop. You don't think there's any chance the DLC weapons are hiding under there instead of charge, right? Oh, we're doing it! Party time has been activated by Narga. Having a party in the mausoleum. Perfect timing too with the victory and everything. Thank you for that, Narga. <laughs> I'm glad it actually worked. That's a new uh, channel port redemption I made recently. <laughs> 
That's gonna be fun. Okay. Okay, so let's let's check this out. What is under Oh, I don't think I needed to talk to him. I think you could literally just leave. Um, what is under the other weapons? Is it also is it always charge? The DLC is out. I, well, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Thank you so much for the uh, the sub. I'm just kidding. Looking forward to more cup content with the DLC. I'm so excited. Out. Always For real, charge. just kidding. Yeah, so it's always charge and then lobber. Goodbye. It's going good, Pavi. So you you can basically like clear follies and then go straight to the mausoleum and then straight to the DLC. And then what we found is the base shop has the normal stuff, but the DLC shop has all the new stuff. And if you buy one of the three weapons, it actually, the replacement weapon of any of the DLC weapons is charge. So with eight coins, you could buy a DLC weapon plus charge. So you could get con converge and charge, for example. So that's going to be very interesting. Because that's, that's eight coins. Normally, you could never get charged with eight coins in the base game. I think it will be, Joseph. I think it's just like, it depends on which shop you're shopping from, the order of it. So what I want to test now is what happens, like what is the first DLC weapon that appears? So let me make another new file. And I'll do, um, let's see. How many coins do I need to buy charge as well? 12, right? <laughs> oh my god, I hope not, Narga. <laughs> we'll try that next time. I want to check the base shop. Hey, Tim. Thanks for the follow. Okay, so... Okay. So I'll just do... I'll get 12 coins real quick and check this. No, it'll be Twin Heart. If it follows the same logic of charge, it should be Twin Heart under the first charm. And then Whetstone. If it's like in reverse order, but like like it is here. But I don't know for sure. That's just a guess. They could put anything under there. They could put Whetstone under there. Yeah, exactly. I know. I was just thinking about that. Because you, you could literally do Follies and Treetop. If that were the case, Narga, you could do Follies and Treetop and you could have Charge Wednesday. I did, Pavi. I literally was just... I was overthinking it massively. And I just literally missed the fact that one of them had it up that I just didn't read ever for some reason. So there was like an up left instead of straight straight left. I just never realized that they said up in their sentence. <laughs> so it was, it was all very literal. But yeah, I, I won't spoil exactly, but you, you, you know what it means. Oh wait, I need to do a uh, treetop. Also keep in mind, if, if all bosses does include the new gauntlet, you get 11 coins from that. That's called Ninja Clip, uh, Joseph. If you damage boost inside the machine, you get as far right as you can, turn left, and then you press EX and jump at the exact same time. Uh, it just clips you through. We don't know why, but it, it's a thing. Now, go! I have a test of the DPS, like the individual DPS of the weapons wolf, to be fair. 
But I, I used exclusively DLC weapons, pretty much, for, for all my S ranks and bosses and everything. So I've just been living in the DLC weapon land. Like, I pretty much used only new stuff for the whole thing. Uh, the idea, though... The idea is the pierce. Um, it has infinite pierce. Same with its EX. So, like, uh, Ribby and Croaks, it just doubled, it just pierces them the whole time. Like, you don't even have to be in the double damage spot, it just straight up does that. Yeah, I, I can see Crack Shot being really good as well. But it's like, it's interesting because you have to compare that to Lobber Spread. Okay, so let's see what happens. Okay, so Lobber Spread charge then con converge converge is the first one all oh, like secret phases wolf I I'm gonna look for the secret phases at some point I already have an idea for a couple see like one secret phase at least but I just don't know how to make it happen All oh, like skips and stuff, like glitches. Like, what kind of tricks are we talking about here? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people are already jumping into the speedrun side of it, which is cool. Okay, so you want to be to check charms. So, well, let's do one more file and we'll check charms. Oh God. Like they freeze and then you could kill them or like a bad, like a soft lock. Um, I'll do the tutorial too so we can get, or no, I only need to do this. Yeah. Phase freezes. Oh. So like Beppy skip. Like Beppy skip, right? Like that kind of phase freeze. Okay, cool. Oh, by the way, Wolf, I already got a Beppy skip with Miss Chalice Lava Spread. It's so much easier as her. It's just, it's, it's confusing because I'm so not used to it. But you get to set up insane Lava Traps. Like that, that is one thing though. I, I know that we're getting excited about Converge Charge as an option. It definitely is an option. Or maybe Crack Shot. But Lobber is, with Miss Chalice, is insane. Bravo. Yeah, I, I think so as well, Wolf. Her EXs actually seem to be godlike. For for not for a lot of situations. Obviously there's some things you miss out on. Like the bullet EX on Hilda when you damage boost. But there seems to be like a lot of stuff that's just insane. Oh yeah, you could go grab that coin. There's a lot of options for coins. Like I said, coins, there's a, there's gonna be a lot of options for routing because you could potentially like shop again or delay your shop and do the uh, the parry guys first, the parry challenges. It, assuming we include that in all bosses. I feel like some people might make an argument that that should be in all flags and not all bosses, the, the, like the parry fights. Um. But we'll, we'll just have to see what people end up wanting. Here comes a spooky bunch. Because yeah. you're going to get rich. Like, if you have to do those parry fights, you, you literally get 11 coins for free. Oh my god, you're right. We don't have to do follies.
No, no, not even that, Narga. You can just go and... You just go to the DLC, dude. And, and you can... You can, like... Do the... Whatever those things... If it's... If those are considered bosses... If the parry, like... King's Gauntlet thing is considered bosses... Dude... You get 11 coins from that. And then you could just pick up anything, man. Yeah, you're just freaking loaded. You just skip follies. Yeah, yeah, it depends. I don't know if you have to beat some bosses. Like, man, there's so many routing options, actually. The more I think about it. Because you have to consider the order that you do everything in. And you still do need to beat one level to get to the mausoleum. So, like, you, you could beat Root Pack with Peace Shooter only. Or I, I think Goopy works. Yeah, the, the routing is actually nuts. Like, maybe somebody will figure out something obvious really quick. But there's a chance this is actually going to take a ton of testing. Because I, I, I'm just like, there's like 50 million ways you could route this. Yo, Doxa, how's it going? Yeah, I think you can only do two, right, Narga? Which is four coins. So you could get three from Apple, get that, and then get the one, like, free, easy coin. That's eight, without having to do follies as well. And then you could still get, like... That's, that's the other thing, Wolf. It's like, how deep into those weapons is, is that? So, do we want to, like, skip follies, get coins in DLC, then come back? To the base world to get lava spread and play the whole game and then return to the dlc in aisle three or something like there's so many ways you could route it and i mean that might sound like so bad like oh there's no way like that extra bat movement but if you skip follies i mean that's 50 seconds there's no way it takes 50 seconds to like you know pop in the dlc for a second so there's like lots of ways you could start thinking about the coins and also your weapon options and your charm options. Absolutely, Cooley. Oh, does he not, Narga? I guess I could test it. Let's test it here. I I'm in the perfect spot. I, lo I love it, Doxa. Just play with four, all like pea shooter spread. Yeah, it's like, that's the thing though, is that that is a, an option. Because pea spread isn't even, even even bad in modern patches. Like this is current patch. Like lobber is godlike, but it's, it's not as godlike. Although th those lobber traps with chalice, if they're optimized, that could be actually a massive deal like I, I bet you could get four more lobbers in every trap would be my rough guess which is like a second and a half of dps extra on every phase like that where you could do one like bod bod's minions if you have a miss chalice lobber trap they'll all just instantly explode like it's legacy I, I think so as well, Wolf. Spread is probably still the highest damage weapon, if I were to guess. I haven't tested the other ones, but I would guess it's the best. Yeah, Doxa. Like, there's a lot of potential there. Like, Lobber's spread with Miss Chalice already sounds awesome. Um, okay, so let's check this. So, we were wondering about the charms. So, like, what if we buy this? Yeah, it's gonna be Twin Heart and then Charm. 
Yeah. So it's it's nine coins to get whetstone. You ha you have a nine coin investment to get whetstone. So if you want two weapons and whetstone, you're looking at seventeen coins. Or yeah, yeah, it's it's nine. You're no, it's nine, because twin hearts five. Oh, the parry ring. You're right. You could do one, two, or one and three, and then whetstone. So it is seven. So whetstone is seven. So you, you'd need 15 coins if you wanted to do charge whetstone. That probably is doable, but you'd probably have to do follies. Goodbye. So that's going to be a whole d thing. <laughs> Potential. There's also a question of how good Whetstone even is for DLC. And also, like, would you rather have Miss Chalice? <laughs> Yeah, well, let's see. Let's okay. Let's test this. How much work do we have to do to get these coins? Uh, let me do it as Miss Chalice. It just makes more sense, I think. Yeah, I don't know if it's good. I, I kind of have my doubts about it. I feel like the EX has a lot of potential, but that's about it. It'd be like a utility weapon, I think. And it would be like really good for some bosses, like the chef, salt baker. Yeah, it, so a lot of this routing is going to depend on if people consider this a boss or not. Like, is this hey, in bro, all hey, bosses? Hey, Are these bosses? So I think that'll be a that'll be a big thing for people to figure out. For the rules. And that matters a lot. Cuz if you have to do these anyways, Dude, Salt Baker is so hard, Docs. I, I wouldn't feel bad about that at all. No, the two coins right away. And I think you get one more, right? I'm pretty sure you get two and then he leaves. So I think you can get four coins. A great slam and then some. And begin! Oh, that's the debate. Oh, I always fall for that debate. Oh my god, I barely missed. This match will get red hot. It sounds so horrible, Narga. But we haven't tried it, you know? It does sound terrible. I think you can do that with like only getting hit once. The damage boost for this will be interesting. This is gonna be a really interesting boss to optimize. What do you think, Wolf? Do you think these are bosses? Do you think they should be in the all bosses? Or do you think it's more of an all flags? Yo, what's up, Yuka? Is there a winner you could parry twice the single attack? Yeah, you can you can get it twice, yeah.
Play Elder Kettle, get spread. Beat Goopy. Get into DLC, plus to get another DLC weapon. Or just beat Goopy with Pea Shooter. And then you don't even have to play the Elder Kettle tutorial. But it, it does depend, like, the coins here. So you get four coins doing this. Yeah, it is. Oh, wait, you could just do the third one? I thought this guy left. Here's a real high class battle. Now go. Do you does he give you do you get to do three? These feel like bosses to me. I feel like if we classify them as bosses, it's fine. And I guess all flags wouldn't need to do them, because it doesn't give you a flag. Or it needs reclassified. Yeah, maybe. Although any percent's really tricky now, Wolf. Because you absolutely do not need to do these for any percent. I feel like you just call these bosses and you just leave it as all, you make like DLC all bosses. And it just has everything, dude. Except the running guns and you don't have to do the other two mausoleums or collect everything. Dude, he just lets you straight up do all of them? Am I tripping? I swear he left in the past. Oh, does he not leave if you one-shot them? Is that what it is? I swear in my first playthrough he kicked me out twice. Yeah, same, Narga. <laughs> I'm getting so greedy. Now I'm getting arrested. Will he kick me out because I took a death? Now go. This would be a super fun boss to optimize, man. It's just such a different vibe. Died on Goofy. Oh, you're right. Dude, is it is it a first time only kind of thing? Like if you have a file that's done these, you could just do all five. Good day for us. Well now go. Oh, I guess I could test that, Narga. You're right. I forgot about the secret boss. I'm guessing you have to do him again, right? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I'll check that. Dude, this is going to be such a hard boss to optimize, man. Because you, you'd be playing like, like this, like freaking just... 
like comboing her. I can see this being, this is gonna be such a quick kill. Somebody's gonna get a, a freaking nuts kill on this where you just freaking hit every cannonball instantly. Wow, I'm loaded, dude. Wasn't, isn't that 11 coins? And then he kicks you out, which is good. And then, dude, you're rich. That's 11 coins. So with Apple, you could have 14 coins. You don't even need Apple, dude. I can, I can buy, like, everything in the world. How much does it cost to get spread from here? Then it's spread. No, it's roundabout. Oh, they hid spread away from us. <laughs> you know, Wolf, you might be onto something with getting spread in aisle one, then coming to aisle two, or, or then coming to aisle four. Uh, it would just go by natural order, Pavi, I think. I'm guessing it would still charge would appear, but you could do that, Wolf. We're super rich. Goodbye. I mean, if you do follies, you could actually have charge whetstone as well. I hate to say that, but that's also an option. Because this guy literally loads you with 11 coins, man. So with apple, that's 14. With follies, that's 19. So you need 8 plus 7. But you can't get spread if you do that. Newspaper only gives you coins if you beat the devil. Never mind. On oh, my folly, oh, he said, like, congrats on beating the devil. Wow, so you actually get six coins for free. Six. You could you could do this too, and then and then do this, and you'd have charged whetstone. But if you did that, you couldn't afford spread. So I don't even know if charge whetstone is better than having spread shot in general. I, I love the DLC dash, it's actually incredible. Oh also, you wanted me to talk. Oh, how do you do this? Oh, do I need to like beat a boss to unlock that? I wasn't supposed to be routing already dash, but it, it just kind of happened. <laughs> oh. Oh, down right. Left up. Okay. It is different on every playthrough. So you actually have to check these. Oh no. Or you could just YOLO and hope you got good RNG. Oh, I don't even want to think about that. Oh no. I wonder how many of these there are. Well... There, there's probably not 504 uh, puzzles, right? How many puzzles are there? You know, what if there's only like six? Yeah, exactly, Wolf. Oh, yeah, baby. 
you might you might be able to have it written down like you just see him and then like you know yeah because i don't think unless it's procedurally generated or something yeah this is gonna be a whole thing let me go see if i can access the secret boss oh that's gonna be spoilers for some people but wait we have to buy this charm right do you need this to ac access the secret boss? Uh, there's the apple at the start of the game, and then there's three coins you get from uh, the guy in the DLC world. I wonder if you can kill him immediately and skip the phase. If you had enough damage lined up, like a roundabout trap and, and charge or something. Because it actually does seem like it hurts him, specifically him, when you hit him for that brief moment. But you might be able to skip the antelope. Really? What were you what combo were you using? Wait, what? The cactus doesn't hurt you? Okay, I have to do this boss and then I can check the, the secret boss. Oh, I don't have mini bombs. Oh my gosh, dude, you don't have mini bombs. Is this our new Hilda? Dude, I, I, I genuinely don't even know how we're gonna route this out. <laughs> this is so nuts, dude. This is like the most 10,000 IQ routing. Yeah, you can't Luigi swap. Uh. Are we gonna get the yodel of shame? I don't think so. Yeah, we'll have to fight Hilda, but like, yeah, true. We, we will have to fight Hilda as well without, if we do DLC first. Cause you, you could, hear me out. You could skip Mausoleum 1 and just do the normal lobber spread thing and then come to the DLC later on so that you have mini bombs. Like, you could come here in aisle two. In aisle three, you actually walk right by the guy. Although you have to beat the mausoleum, yeah. I, yeah, I really like uh, Miss Chalice, actually. I hope that we get to use her in the run. Okay. 
So what I'm curious about, does this work without having the, uh, the charm equipped? I did buy it, which kind of ruins this test a little, but... This is spoilers, by the way. This is a secret boss. I, I'm not going to give away how, to, how I got that solution. And it's different in everybody's game, from what Good I understand. But yeah, this is a uh, secret boss. Okay, so you can access this boss. You found it? Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, to practice this boss, we're either going to need a debugger that lets us teleport to it, or you're just going to have to keep retrying right before you kill him. <laughs> um, yes, I'm pretty sure Doxa. I think you could do any of the three. Every copy is personalized, yeah. Kappa. <laughs> Interesting. So what other things are really important for routing? Oh, here's the other big, 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 big one. How do we deal? With the fact that there's two credits. It's different every time, Jolteon. There might be a limited amount of times it can be different, but yeah. A brawl is surely brewing. And begin! This is going to be a really interesting boss to uh, optimize. I'm, I, I'm, I'm just going to play this game forever, Wolf, until I actually just die. Oh god. <laughs> oh my gosh. I do need to go eat at some point. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. I, I forgot that I changed the... Uh, did you all know that you can change how that works? This R control A and B? I didn't know that until Narga told me. I'm totally not used to the, uh, the new way, even though I think it's better. Oh, it also... Narga, that's good. I, this is a new save file, and it already had that set up for me, so that's something it actually saves that option. Eating his lame cup at his life. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep streaming. Like I'm not gonna quit when I uh, when I eat. Yeah, I'll just take a small break. Oh. Oh. Okay. 
Um, so the reason I'm killing all these bosses is I want to beat... I want to see if there's a way to skip the credit sequence from the DLC or something like that. This is going to be so fun to, to route, dude. Good day for a swell battle. Now go. <laughs> It is kind of awkward that she has to dash to get parries. There's kind of some good parts of that, but there's also some bad parts. Like, it lets go of your charge shot, for example. Oops. Yeah, I've, I've been playing this for almost eight hours straight, Dash. <laughs> I got all the S ranks already. I just have been, uh... Well, there's still there's still something I need to do in my main file. Maybe I'll do that and then eat. But I, I need to test this first as well. So, just just like a few more things and then, and then I'll eat. Wait, who have I not beaten? Oh, this guy. Okay, and then and then I can do uh, this is a salt baker. A great slam and then some. Oh my gosh, Pommy, that would be so silly. Dang it, I always forget. You can actually tell the trajectory of the ball by how like high or up or low the puppets are, but I forget to check that. The geese! Oh, I guess dot. So spread shot would be sick here. You just kind of have to dodge these little guys a little bit. Because they could pop up anywhere. I have a theory that there's a secret phase here. Like, if you stall out long enough. But I, ha I haven't, uh, I haven't experimented with that yet. Oh my god. Yeah, spread seems super nuts for that fight. But I don't know. 
I would assume that there's secret hidden phases, but yeah. Yeah, that's the kind of that's the kind of idea is cool that I want to try later. But let me test this first. I got a few things I got to get done before I forget. Man, I hope this is how the game actually ends. <laughs> this would this would be a cooler ending point than the devil even, I think. Oh, you could skip this. That's such an like awesome like way to end it. A great plan to end stuff. Now go. Yeah, charge is pretty insane for this fight, man. Like, you have to memorize his animations and how he moves around, but... Dude, this is... It's funny how much easier this is on freaking regular, dude. That phase is so nuts when you're on expert trying to S-rank. Okay, so you can do, uh... Let's see. Charge shot and one regular. Oh, actually, maybe just charge shot does it. Yeah, just charge shot does it. Never mind. Sometimes it takes an extra one. I don't know why. Do I have super two? I did not. A great plan You're up. Not used to fit having to think about charge aiming. Dude, I can't wait. I was saying well, earlier, uh, Wolf, if you're still there, I can't wait for freaking sublime expert hitless pea shooter only runs in this boss. <laughs> it's gonna be the so sick, most impossible thing ever, dude. Yeah, an expert, there's freaking like two of these flames, dude. still would want to use this. <laughs> yeah, those flames are pretty rough. Yeah, crack shot is so good for this fight. Okay, can we, what happens if I just bash pause? Yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. Dude, if you if you if you skip the cutscene with pause, it doesn't even play the credits. So it's perfect for all bosses. We could just go do the game now. Like the re you could just go do the rest of the game and beat the devil. At any point, you could do this at any point. Mausoleum one, two, or three, you could do it at any point. And then and then go and finish the game off like normal. Like with King Dice and Devil. And like all the other stuff you have to do. 
So that that's perfect. So we don't even have this awkward thing of like there being two credit sequences that we have to do like so wait through. Yeah, you just have to put a start. That's it. It's that simple and it just skips it skips the whole thing. It only plays the credits if you actually Man, they must have put that in for speedrunners. Because if you actually go through the dialogue, there's an entire credit sequence. So they must have actually put that skip in there on purpose, knowing that we'd want to go and like have a full run finishing on the devil. So that's perfect. To me, that decides it. The fact that there's you can skip the credit sequence, I feel like that's there specifically so that we can still go and do a full run with all the bosses. A real all bosses run. So I think the only thing uh, left to decide is going to be uh, if the king's whatever, but like the chess bosses, if they count as all bosses or if people would consider them for another category. I, I personally see them as bosses, but I, I could see an argument to be made that they're because they don't they don't show up in the list. Oh wow, that's so funny, it skips between the two. Like, they're kind of their own beast. It is a little bit of a gray area. Because the first one, it's like, is that a boss? You're just pairing a bunch of boys, it's like a mausoleum. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out, Doxa, if, if the gauntlet would be all bosses or not. I'm not against the idea of saying they're not bosses and instead putting them in all flags and renaming all flags to all stages or something like that, all levels. That would that would open up a lot of different routes, but I'd, I'd also be all for just saying, hey, they're bosses. They're in all bosses. So I think either way, I wouldn't be upset with. One one reason I'm saying that is I, I have a fear that we're literally about to head into charged whetstone land with all bosses, and the only way we can save it is if we make those other guys not mandatory. <laughs> That's the only way we can save it, I think. The first one doesn't really look like a boss. It looks more like a mausoleum, but that's a bit, a bit nitpicky, I guess. Yeah, the fact you can get whetstone with only... What was it? Seven coins? <laughs> that's... That's cheap, and you get 11 coins for free. Yeah. It's hard to say if Whetstone would even be good. Like, if it, if it would guaranteed be the optimal route, I'm not so sure. Because there's still so much to look into. But, yeah. If, if we didn't require the King's people, you could... <sighs> okay. You could do the tutorial coin, get the six free coins, and get this shortcut coin. And you wouldn't have to do follies. And you'd have eight coins. And you could buy, like, lobber spread, or you could buy, like, a converge charge. Or something like that. Or, or a crack shot charge. And then you'd have an all bosses run with that situation. If we allow the king's thing in all bosses... You're going to be loaded on coins. You could basically buy whatever you want. There, There is an argument that, like, maybe you'd not get whetstone because you can't afford sh spread from this shop. So you'd have to do a second shop later to get spread. Or you'd have to, like, do the tutorial at the start plus apple and buy spread. That's, like, an extra 30 seconds to go out of your way to get spread. Like, Wolf had the idea. Tutorial, Apple, 
Goopy, or buy spread, Goopy, then come the DLC and get all these coins, and then you could buy Charge Whetstone. So you, you are sacrificing like probably 35 seconds going out of your way for the tutorial and for the extra shop. But it does, it would give you enough coins, right? Cause you'd come here, you get, you get 14 more for free. You only need eight to get charge. And you only need seven. Um, I think, I, th I don't know actually, Doxa. I think they would be there though if you buy everything out. I haven't tested it. Well, actually, would you have enough? Cause to get charge, to get charge whetstone, you need seven plus eight. So that's 15. You come here, you get three plus 11, that's 14. Okay, and you could get the uh, the extra secret coin. Yeah. So, tutorials, one. Apple's three. This guy's three. That's seven. You get 11 from the, the thing. That's 18. And then you get the 19th coin over here. Right there. But then you have spread charge whetstone. <laughs> and you gotta keep in mind, not only do you have that for the DLC, but you have that for the entire base game outside of Goopy, because you'd have to beat one boss to get here. It might be. Let me see. Uh, it might be. You'd have to time it. Are we ban wolf? Yeah. So, the thing is though, is if, if we say that the king's gauntlet is more for all flags or all stages, we'll say. Then that route can have charge whetstone, which it already kind of, like for 1.2, you already would use charge whetstone in that route. So you would not be able to get charge whetstone if you didn't do that. Because the max coins you could get, yeah. Because you'd want to skip Follies. So you could get six Miss Chalice coin behind the thing. You get eight. And you could get two weapons. Or you could start your tutorial, do Apple, pick up Spread, and then get a different weapon here. Or you could do Apple and Follies still and get Lobber Spread. Come here. Oh, man. What I'm trying to figure out, Wolf. Okay, so you can you can actually get charge spread whetstone. Okay, you do the tutorial. You do apple. You buy spread. You kill Goopy. You go here. You you get the three from this guy and the one from the the uh, Miss Chalice tutorial, or behind here, either one. Then you get the eleven from the King's Scotlet. That gives you enough to then go to this shop, because you already have spread. You can actually buy out charge and whetstone from that point. So you'd have charge, spread, whetstone, like the aisle combo. Um, so that's, that's a route. Now, if we say that the gauntlet is not bosses, and instead it's more fitting for something like all stages, like let's say all flags, becomes all stages then 
like you wouldn't get charged whetstone because you're not getting those 11 coins there's just no way you'd be able to get all that so you'd probably do something like i don't know what you do but maybe you you'd do to either tutorial apple and buy spread or you'd do like apple follies and get lava spread and then come here you get four free coins and you could buy another weapon yeah, there's a lot of options. I I actually think from a routing standpoint, from from right now, that it's actually more interesting to route if the gauntlet is not in all bosses. Because I feel like as soon as you say charge spread whetstone, <laughs> I doubt there's anything that's even possible to be better than that combo. You have the highest DPS long range weapon. Also, it, it charges, so it, 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 it like you could pre-charge it while you're waiting on phases. So it essentially has the trap effect. The charge EX has the splash effect. It can hit multiple things. And spread is the highest DPS weapon in the game, unless one of the new ones is good. And then Wetson's the highest DPS charm in the game. So I, 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 the problem is, is like if if we allow the gauntlet, it's literally going to be charged spread Whetstone from first glance. There's a chance it's not. Maybe there's a lot of magic you can make happen with other st other options. But if we don't do that, there's a chance we end up more with like converge spread or lava spread plus chalice, which sounds dope to me, but I'm biased. Or or it could it could even be like something charge, but just without whetstone. Like, Miss Chalice Charge plus Crack Shot. Like, there's, a, there's like a million weapon combos that I feel like you'd have the option to do. But if if the Gauntlet's included, it's very easy to just get Charge Spread Whetstone. I think, I think even if you were able to, like, skip some stuff, like, you know, it would be really hard to beat that combo. Because Charge is insane for every, every fight in the game, basically. Like... I, I know it's going to be good for all the DLC fights as well. If the gauntlet is not in, then you're going to... Well, you could have charge. Yeah, you probably have to get spread. How bad is this fight with lava spread? How bad is Saltbreaker with Lava Spread? Is it like really bad? It sounds awful. It's really bad. So let's say you're doing Lava Spread uh, Cookie. 111 on Winchester, nice. I don't even know what weapon combo we're using though, Wolf. That's the thing. I don't know what the route's gonna be. I don't know what the rules are gonna be. <laughs> There's kind of a lot of things that aren't that obvious. Oh, Wolf, did you see? If you press start after beating Saltbreaker, it does not give you a credit sequence. So you can, it actually is perfect. Because then you could just go do the devil. You never have to go to title or anything. So, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a break, dude. I've been going for eight hours straight, but I'm gonna keep streaming. I'll just uh, I'll just probably turn my cam off and eat for a while. Maybe I'll pull up some videos. <clears throat> of st stuff people have been finding in the Discord while I eat. 
Um, let me try this, Narga. Is salt... This is pretty much the fight that is most worrying for charge. You could also equip Pea Shooter, but Pea Shooter also sounds pretty terrible. Yeah, you do have double jump. A brawl is currently brewing. Now, go! Oh, you can get spread EXs. That's pretty cool. This is horrible, man. Because you're going to have to dodge a lot. That's the problem. But this could maybe be okay. I mean, spread does a lot of damage, man. It probably is still, I would guess, the highest DPS weapon in the game. Yeah, exactly. Like, spread's still really good on Devil, even though you have to jump all the time. Like, this is just mad hard. But it's maybe doable. I'm curious what the other phases look like. Here's a real high-class battle. And begin! I want to finish those assassination missions, though, as well. Okay. Charge is really insane for this fight, man. Yeah, this is this is so much better with charge. Good day for a well battle. You're up. This match will be red hot. And begin. Wait. Oh, okay. A great plan ends up. Now go. Well, see, that's what I'm saying, Pavi. Is if if we allow, um. The King's Gauntlet, you'll have enough for Whetstone, but if we don't allow it, you won't have enough. Dude, how did that... Wait. Why are those spready X's? Am I tripping? Ban it? I wish. I swear my spready X just, like, explodes, man. Dude, this guy's hitbox is actually huge. You can hit him from like six miles away. Oh, it, he kind of lingers too. Okay, so it doesn't follow his animation super well. Typical Cuphead. But this sucks. Like... Like, spread on these is rough, man. You probably just go back and forth between the lower ones, though. That might be easier. Yeah, I think his hitbox just, it doesn't, like, track as well. As it could. I bet that's why that spready X worked. It probably still thought he was over where I was at. A 
A brawl is surely brewing. Yeah, exactly. It's super hard. Here's a real time class battle. Now go. <sighs> oh my gosh, dude, the freaking flame. I always forget to keep track of him. This isn't too, that phase isn't too bad for lava spread. Oh, this will be hype. Because he falls on you. You could probably set up like a giga lava trap and just kill him as soon as he lands. He doesn't have very much HP. Oh, this is going to be rough. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this face sucks, though. <laughs> it's so rough for these weapons. I think you'd have to, like, god lobber it or something, man. I don't even know how you deal with that phase, dude. I bet you just save five EXs, dude, and just frickin' EX them down. Here's a real Here goes. Oh, freaking lime, man. Yeah, it's so good, Javi. Oh, yeah, I need to double jump there. Oh, the leaf. Here's a real yeah, it's awesome. It honestly reminds me of like something, like the background looks like something I'd see in like a, like Dark Souls 3 or something. Like I, I love the vibe of it. It's super cool. This would be a, such a tough fight to get, get at with Lopper Spread. It's definitely way easier with Charge. You might be able to get it faster though with this. The problem is there's stuff like, can if Whetstone can reach him, I don't know if it can. It might barely be able to. A great slam and stop. Now 
go. Yeah, there's an area that looks similar at the end of uh, Dark Souls 3 DLC. Oh god. Man, those animal crackers are one of the biggest problems, man. up a mini lava trap right there actually oh the freaking leaves could be over there dang something like this. Okay. Yeah, you could almost instantly kill that face with a lobber trap. I don't even know how to optimize it with Chalice at all. But this phase is horrendous. Like, you could probably get decent at this. Yeah, I think you just need a bunch of EXs and then you need to be really good at it, at hitting them. I think that would be, like, the strat. Pretty good face. Aw, oh, I got hit by the freaking strawberry. There's some really cool strats you could probably do here. I have some ideas. <laughs> Dodge there. Dude, I could totally get a full lava trap there to instant kill the next guy, and I might be able to like loop it. Okay, so lava spread might actually be kind of legit for phase two. This is so much fun, though. Oh, God. See what I'm what I'm getting, the kind of vibe I'm going for there. <laughs> that was definitely faster. Oh my gosh, dude, he's so wide. <laughs> dude, look at that. That lava trap almost killed him.
This match will be red hot. Yeah, you can parry the heart. You definitely want Miss Chalice for this if you're doing a lava spread. A brawl is truly brewing. Now go. Okay, I see how this worked now. Oh, the stupid flame, man. The limes are pretty interesting. Oh, interesting. The flame can't go over there, but the leaves can. Hmm, and then they spawn in. Yeah, you'd have to get a really good rhythm, like a really good strat to, to make that work prop the way I would want it to. But I, I think you get something that looks like super clean if you uh, worked at it enough. There's definitely a lot of potential there. You're up. I still gotta figure out the last phase though, man. to get to the the other phases with more HP, but this first phase is just so rough. Man, this animation is... I can't even believe this is, like, real, man. They did such a good job with this fight. A great slam and end stuff. Here goes. Yeah, the first phase sucks. I don't know how slow it is though. It might, it might, it's just hard. Like, I think charge would be faster for phase one. Charge is pretty good for phase two as well, and it's a much easier setup. I can I can basically get like a, a little bit of lava off. I don't even need to do like a super optimal trap there. Basically, just, like just jump and get some freaking lobbers out, and then I gotta get out of there. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. I guess when I finally complete this, we'll, I'll see what kind of time I get. And I'm sure a bunch of people are already grinding these fights, so I could kind of compare, see see what uh, how well Lobber Sprint's holding up at first glance. Yeah, it's so tricky though. This opening is really rough.
Okay. <laughs> Dang it, man. I had such a good thing going there for a second, but it's so hard. It's a you have to kill so many of those. Oh, the stupid limes, man. Man, animal crackers, why are you so deadly? Lobber trap. God dang it, dude. I've never expected him to be as wide as he is. <laughs> you need to get the heck out of there. I want to stay close to spread, but you, you can't you don't need to be that close, I guess. He's pretty wide. Phase one down decently fast. Dude, how's he still alive? Oh my gosh. I think I know how I want to do that now, but it's just tricky to get into this, the rhythm of it. Oh my gosh, I wanted that. Oh well. Okay. Oh my gosh, couldn't keep it together. I shouldn't have used that EX. Now I gotta deal with this. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, that last phase could have been like 
eight seconds faster. <laughs> Probably like more. 151? Yeah, I think I could get like a 140 with this. That's so nice that if you skip that, it skips the credits and everything, so you could just go straight out. Wonder what kind of times people are getting. Hmm. Yeah, she she helps so much. That's gonna be way harder. Um way, way, way harder. Um Okay. Dude, why is there so many pings everywhere? Okay. Um Crack shot EX even work. Um it's really good. So it okay. I think the ideal world is you fire it somewhere where it does not hit the boss. It does not hit anything so that it creates the turret. And the turret can shoot a bunch of bullets. Then you can either parry it or use another crack shot EX and it'll fire it. It's kind of like Chaser EX, how they spin around you, but if you use another EX, they disperse and fly at the boss. You could do that with the same method or you could parry it. Um. But I, I think that's the max damage you're going to get out of it, is letting it shoot, like, I don't know, maybe five times or whatever it is. Like, the max amount, and then and then using another one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If you shoot it directly into the boss, I don't know how... I bet it does, like, not very great damage. Uh, it shoots the same bullets as you, so the homing ones. It's long range. It just shoots them slower. I really need to take a break and eat soon. Okay, yeah, that's gonna take a while. Um, I'm gonna take a break. Um, and eat. Ugh, I will be playing more though. I'm gonna get me an energy drink. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna play the video game. Um, hope everyone's been having a good time so far though. Uh, what I plan to do is I plan to follow this cactus quest all the way through and then start doing some boss like experimentation and, and different stuff like that. Um, hey Wolf, if you could, if there's anything interesting, cause there's so many posts, man, I can't, I don't have time to look through the whole discord and you've already been like looking through it. So uh, could you DM me like any kind of cool clips that I should check out for the DLC so far? Because I'll watch them while I eat. Uh, on stream with you all. So, I'm gonna go grab my sub. Um, I'll be probably just... Maybe four or five minutes. And then I'll be back to hang out. And, uh, while I eat. And, yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna have the cam off and everything while I eat and do all that. So, I'm gonna go get my food. I'll be right back. And thank you, Wolf. Um, I'll leave it on the, uh, the title screen so y'all can hear the new song.
delicious last course of oh, the delicious last course one can eat their fill and still stay until the delicious last course it's a delicious last course for oh, that delicious last course it's our cakes and pies it doesn't go so mine for that delicious last course oh miss child is just one to be just as real as real can be with a wonder tart she can then take heart it's all to the bakery chef salt baker has a With that delicious last course. Come, head, mold man, and chalice make a deal. As a team, adventuring to help a child.
all that delicious last course. If there's a single meal to help make chalice real, it's a delicious last course. A little delicious last course. A little delicious last course. Since you got the heart to make the wonder talk, a little delicious last course. Using recipes to get necessities, a little delicious last course. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> um. Okay. Um, dude, check this out, guys. Um, uh, well, let me turn the cam on for a second. Dude, look at this. I don't know if you can see it. All of its glory. <clears throat> Freaking delicious sub. I actually made that, dude. Oh my god. We party now. <laughs> good times, good times. Thank you for that, Poppy. Dude, I I like I bought a head of lettuce. And like lettuce is nuts. Like you know, you all have probably heard of lettuce, but if you ever actually like, you know, maybe you've seen a lettuce on the internet, but if you ever actually like had a head of lettuce in your hands, those things are beasty. Like I was sitting there fricking peeling away. You peel off these huge leaves, you fricking wash them. And then you're like, need to like, oh, I need to dry this off a little bit and and then you got like you just keep peeling big leaf and big leaf and big leaf and like dude that's like a never ending battle to the death like I'm so glad that root pack doesn't have a lettuce bo uh, boss or like it'd be impossible lettuce is super OP it's like a six phase boss fight <laughs> no joke. That was probably the first time I've ever actually, like, prepared an entire head of lettuce myself. Like, you know, like, peeled it all, every bit of it. Not generally much of a lettuce guy, but it's so good for subs. Oh, we're to lettuce. I'm, I'm, I'm about to eat my sub. Um, so I will be, uh, I won't be talking as much as I chomp, but we'll be back to it soon enough. Don't peel. You just chomp into the the entire head of lettuce. <laughs> yeah, Anna was guiding me through the process last night. I needed help, dude. I was lost. I spent like 30 minutes fighting that head of lettuce. I'm not even joking. Hey, Gene Kev, welcome in. I love it. It's amazing. <laughs> bun Bun, thanks for the follow. Like, it doesn't disappoint at all. It's incredible. There's so many cool things in it. I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad you got a kick out of it. 
All right, I gotta beat this boss. Well, I'm supposed to be eating, but like, I'm kind of like sneaking some bosses in between chomps. Oh my god, dude, she could just trigger the secret phase. Oh my gosh, what is the visual cue? This? Oops. It's okay, we have like a million HP, dude. Dude, that lava trap, though. That lava trap was hype. <laughs> Oh my god, dude! I didn't even get an EX off. Dude, her lobber traps are so sick. God dang it, I want lobber spread to be saying so bad. Her lobber traps are godlike, dude. Cause she could jump so high, you get them bouncing. They're just bouncing all over the place. I love it so much. We need to we need to manipulate the rules in such a way that we can have lava spread in this chalice cuz it would be so much fun. <laughs> be an actual blast, man. Maybe we should legit make a whetstone list category, man. It would literally fix the entire game in every category. It'd like fix Cuphead. <laughs> All right, let's go to Alpha. Yeah, you're right, Bobby. That's so crazy. I would never even think about that stuff without Miss Chalice. That's so sick. Dude, lettuce isn't that bad, guys. Like, I was... I don't know. Maybe, too, it's like the sense of accomplishment and just the fact that I put lettuce on here. It's like the sweet taste of victory. All right, what's the next boss? Tell the tale of the platoon pest gone AWOL. Platoon. Didn't we already do Briny? Or did we not? Platoon pest? Wouldn't that be Briny? Platoon? I never eat lettuce on sandwiches. I do like it on subs though. Just to give that little bit of crunch texture. Sub's legit good though, I'm surprised. I honestly haven't looked too much, uh, Gene. The best thing. The best thing. Um, this one is ham, Swiss cheese, pickles. Lettuce, tomato, mayo, and honey mustard. Yeah, it's tasty. Um, so what did it say? Is something about a platoon? Is that briny? Oh, uh, let, let me show you the thing I'm talking about, Gene. Hello from Finland. How's it going? Welcome in. Oh, I can't show it. 
Oh man, I could show it, but I have to use the devil's weapon. Good day for a well battle. Now go. Yeah, Pavi's actually uh my mod Pavi is also from Finland. Okay, so normally... Oh my god, Whetstone's so busted in this, with this change. Um, normally when you, uh, when you drop through a platform and parry, you won't land back on the platform. But with this new change, um... Oh my god, these hitboxes are so scuffed. I can't even demonstrate it. Yeah, see that? I could drop through parry and then land on the platform. In the old, all other patches of the game, you would actually fall straight through that platform from that situation. Like, this would not work normally. But yeah. That's one of the changes. Finn. <laughs> you don't meet a Finn every day. Oh, wait. I wanted to try Briny. Uh, just for parries in general. I just used the charm to demonstrate it. Oh, maybe. And some fights are going to be kind of awkward. I'll try Wormin as well. You could just straight double jump over his flames, I bet. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, that's right. This is not 115. I don't think those even work at all. It's so easy to dodge the ball with her. So, yeah, if you're wondering why I'm fighting random bosses in the old game, um, or the base game, I, uh, I'm just basically, there's like some random NPC on the DLC island who hints at a boss, and I'm just basically going and beating the boss they hint at, and I'm, I don't know what's gonna happen, it might just be like, it might do nothing, it might be a secret, but I wanna, I wanna play it out and see how it goes. 
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what did you say? Bolt buckets bust up. Uh, Dr. Cal? Bolt bucket? I would think Dr. Cal. Yeah, I think so, Kenna. Now, Cal... Miss Chalice would probably not be great for Cal. Well, I don't know. Her EX is probably Pog Champ, but... Everything else I'm not so sure about. Yeah, that's very true, you know. A great slam is in, You're up. How do you even do this? Oh, it does splash. I don't know how to do this. It's like a whole new world trying to play this way. Yeah, exactly. They also made her pea shooters, it spreads, but it, it's slower. The second phase is so hard, Narga. All right, let's go back and see what she wants next. That wasn't bad. Like, regardless of if Miss Chalice is optimal, because there's a chance we end up in Whetstone Hell, um, I really hope that they will make a Miss Chalice category, because she's so much fun. Like, I love the character. And it would just be so fun to route all the fights with her. <clears throat> Miss Chalice category would be the best category in the game, too, because it means that you can't use Whetstone, no matter what. <laughs> I don't know, man. The the reason to not use her is to use Whetstone. <laughs> I don't know if you know how OP Whetstone is, Harga. It's possible. It, there, there might be an argument to use her over Whetstone, but... Locomotive in Limbo. Phantom? She's really good, though. Like, it, 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 there's an argument to be made. Dude, I won't even need to do ghost wrangling. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> How's it going, man? What do you think of the DLC so far? <laughs> Did someone say Whetstone? I, I, I love it personally. Personally. Sorry. Speak of the devil. <laughs> nice, yeah. I got the S's as well. I didn't do them hitless, though. I did them all with uh, Miss Chalice. I did. There was a few of them I did hitless, but... Uh, 
I, I just still use this chalice for all of it. It's so good though, man. I, I, I'm blown away like by some of the animation and stuff. It's just awesome. I'm, I'm glad too, the fights are like actually tough. I wasn't sure how that was gonna work. I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh no. Dude, this is so trippy playing this as Miss Chalice. Oh, you haven't used her? She's a lot of fun. I'm just, I'm like, I'm like, how do I even do this? Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, okay, let me, let me try to get this right. <laughs> yeah, you have to dash into it. It's so trippy. Oh my gosh, dude. I don't know how to... Okay. We can make this work. <laughs> I bet I was close. Even without... Yeah, one off with uh, four EXs because of the lava trap. Her lava trap game is insane, dude. Oh my gosh, she can just freaking... <laughs> Dude, she's so sick for this, though. I just, I, I don't know how to play it. <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm doing. Dude, you can just spread exit, dude. That's so sick. Oh my god. There's so much potential. Like, you could just do so many things, man. Having the extra health, too, is huge. Okay, you could just jump up there and spread EX. Yeah, exactly, Kenna. Like, it's a whole new thing to, like, learn. But it could be so good. She's super dope. Yes, Cheetah. Yeah, Cheetah, like, there's so many sick fights. Casino Man's... Oh! Is this King Dice? It's OP. We get to see how we parry the cards with her. Ah, <laughs> uh, we could do monkey, why not? For you, Kenna, I'll, I'll do monkey. <laughs> I wonder if he'll have me beat Devil as well. <laughs> yeah, same. I hate Monkey too. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> Wait, what do what do I actually want here? I guess we just do three five seven, huh? Okay, okay. I'll just do I'll just do the normal route to see what it's like with Miss Chalice. I'm actually kind of interested. Oh, oops, I didn't do the right thing. Oh, 
Oh, right, that doesn't work. I'm trying to do double damage lobber EXs. Yeah, exactly. Even even the skip was rough. This match will get red hot. It's on. Oh wow. Dude. How do I do that? <laughs> oh my goodness, the, the, the hitbox is like a little different or something. That's so trippy. Dude, how do you get the parry on this? Is she sick on Pirouletta? Uh, I think I'm gonna get killed, man. <laughs> this Here's isn't looking good, dude. You're up. Oh, you think I could just double jump over? I don't know. She's pretty tall, dude. Okay. I have no idea, Jason. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> like, I'm legit. I'm just gonna press parry right before I touch the card and, and hope. I have no idea. Oh my gosh, dude. Well, I just wanted the heart, Kappa. <laughs> I like forgot to press dash until it's too late. Have y'all seen her Super 3? It's so cool. Dude, maybe the goal is just to set up a lava trap so big it just kills him instantly. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I have so much muscle memory for pairing this that way. Dude, how do I even do this? Oh my god, you could just spread EX him. Oh, wow, look at that. They actually put in a different animation for her. That's awesome. Dude, did you see the little parts floating above the cards? They actually put that in just for Miss Chalice. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, yeah, I was wondering how they were going to get around that, but that totally works. Yeah, I don't know, Pavi. I don't think it was. Because I think I did it earlier with Cuphead, and I don't remember seeing that. So I think it's only there if you're Miss Chalice. All right, let's go see who's next. Oh my god, Jason. You should have seen Sally. The last phase just like dies instantly at the top of the screen. I couldn't even get an EX off because the, the lobber trap was so beefy and you could chase her up off the screen so far when she leaves in phase three. It's hilarious. Oh, I keep forgetting it's over here. Also, I'm kind of eating. That's why my camera and stuff's off and while I'm kind of slow. But I'll, I'll be done here in a little bit. Try Geen Dice with her once and the playtester's entire response was just no. Yeah. For Wallop and every boss with Miss Chalice. Oh, you have to do it with Miss Chalice. I didn't even know that. I just was playing her. 
I made her a spiffy new look. What? The options menu? Where? The options menu. Chalice? Chalice filter. So this does unlock a filter. Let's see what it does. Oh, nice. That's cool. Oops. Oh, God. So it's just a custom skin just for her, for beating all the bosses in the game with her. Yeah, it's the collars are different. Oh god. The gameplay is the same though. So it's like the other visual filters, like the black and white and whatnot. Oh. Apparently you can just kill him there if you're uh I've never played this with Lava Spread. This is interesting. I mean, in a speedrun, you're gonna always kind of skip the thing. See so what even deal with this phase, but. I think Wolf sent some clips we can look at too. Yeah, that's cool. So wait. Interesting. That wasn't the last achievement. I'm still missing one achievement that's hidden. So there's still something in the game that I haven't found. I thought it would be this, but this doesn't even give an achievement. <laughs> oh, right. I haven't done that yet. This is going to be horrible. So I have this cursed relic. What it does is it puts you down to one HP and it just keeps changing your weapons to like any weapon in the game. Also spooky music. Ooh, spooky. All right, let me get my cam back on. All right. <laughs> Monka S. I love this song. This song. It's like some theremin spooky sounds.
Mike and B, welcome in. A great <laughs> My first time seeing you too. Oh god. Oh right, I'm not Miss Chalice. Here's a real time It's on. I don't even know how to play this as Cuphead. Oh my god, dude. Not lobber. <laughs> yeah, Tropics. It's been a very good one, that's for sure. Oh my gosh. I don't know. This seems pretty hard, Daka. I guess you just wait till you get this weapon and then you just hope that you get to keep it. Oh my god. No, not lobber. Okay, I'll take crack shot. Oh god. I don't know yet, Brenna. Or probably Brenna. Welcome in. Um, I, uh, I'm gonna exp I, I, I'm hoping actually to experiment with that later. Actually, uh, Wolf, are you still there? I know you said you weren't sleeping, but I didn't know if you were memeing or not. This weapon's actually kind of hype for him. Oh my god. Okay, pea shooter. Ugh. Don't worry, Market. I got stuck on it forever. Turns out I was way overthinking it. <laughs> you swap and let one crack shot before jumping. Oh my god, Narga. Yeah, there's some crazy okay. stuff you can do. Now go! Oh god. Yeah, this is gonna be hard to beat this with the curse. Oh god. I want a different weapon. Every time you dash or EX, it kind of like gives you a different weapon. Chaser? Okay, sure. Honestly, not bad. Dang it, man! <laughs> I I don't want to dash because I don't want to get a different weapon. Okay. Chaser's too good. Wait, does pairing not give you cards? Isn't there like a chance that you could get the the parry, like HP from parrying or whatever? That would be hype. Oh, I actually have it. Okay, this is the run. We got the RNG. No, I had to get rid of it. So hard, I had to dash. Okay, I'll take Beast Shooter. Okay. No! Okay, okay, we're doing things. Wait, can I get Lobber? Lobber, please? Okay. Okay, that wasn't a very exciting trap. I didn't have much time.
Oh god. I've never done this as Cuphead. Oh my god, that was a- I had whetstone on there? Oh, this is good. Okay, okay. You're right, it wasn't too bad. You just- you just have to... get used to it. A plus curse. <clears throat> Do you have to beat the whole game with it? Oh, well, let's find out. Miss Chalice. Someone said the cutscene's different. A dashly salt breaker. He had us hoodwinked the whole time. Oh, you have to beat every boss DLC boss with it. Eek, ah! No, my bakery. Wait, so is this... I thought you said this was different. Yeah. It's kind of interesting, Cheetah. I'm just waiting for someone to, like, Giga Five Head an IL with the, the Cursed Charm. Where you, you know, you, ha you have, like, the optimal weapon for every fight. Yeah, this is all the same. So far. Was your previous message? Wish you could task this at spam swap to get optimal. <laughs> I see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, it is, honestly, Johnson. It's incredible. Wait, so is it... Is there no different ending, Daka? Or do you have to beat all the bosses, then beat him? Or am I getting... Is my... Am I getting trolled? <laughs> oh, it's just for the achievement? Hmm. Feel like you're. I. I, I don't know, Daka. <laughs> I, I'm. I'm looking at you with some suspicious eyes. Oh man. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, man, I don't know, dude. I don't know. Is it act? Do I actually need to beat all the bosses with this? Yours is stronger. Okay, I'll try it. I might I might be getting debated here, but <laughs> Dude, how do I even use this weapon? Okay, I need a different one. That's how you use it. You just don't use it. Oh, we got lucky. We got the heart. It's okay, this is the boss that took the longest for me to S rank, so I know everything this boss can do. Although it is trippy playing it as not Miss Chalice.
I'm just gonna use all my EXs. Come what may. Ah, oh, that'd have been sick if I could have. Oh man. Okay. Haha. <laughs> Aw. Why did my charge go away? Dude, don't go after the tongue. This thing has chaser brain. Okay, dude, I can't kill. I, can't, I need a different weapon. No! Dude, it doesn't let you keep charge, does it? It just gets rid of it, man. It's working! Oh. Uh... Okay. <sighs> the top shooting pesticide seems to actually damage the spider. Oh, absolutely, Brenna. Like, there's so much stuff. I, apparently, there's already a skip. But let me let me try this first, and then I'll maybe look at some videos of what people have found so far. Oh man, this is gonna be tough. Wait, how does this work on plane levels? A brawl is surely brewing. Here goes. Hey, Brody, welcome in. Is it just when I EX it switches? Haha, <laughs> that's cool. Um, I could see myself doing that, Brenna, but I mean, it'll obviously be a while. Like, we have to figure everything out first. We don't even know, like, what the category will be yet. Like, the rules and everything. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. <laughs> you actually did this, Doc? Dude, this is hard. Oh, can you do it on simple? Oh, you spot. I got gotcha. you. Oh, I just. <laughs> that was a funny sequence. HP just when I needed it. Oh my gosh, dude. I sh Why did I do that? I don't want. Oh. I have smoke bomb. I have whetstone. Dang it. Good day for a well battle. Here goes. Oh my gosh, what is this? I think you just re-roll until you get bullet, right? Okay. Oh, I got I got the god seed. Don't throw it away. So as long as I don't press EX, I still have the same setup. So 
So I should be able to get some parries and get more health. Wait, I have whetstone? Oh. Wait, does this... Dude, it like switches every time. Um. Oh, I got more health. Might do it hitless anyways, though. <laughs> um, I can glance at it. I don't want to do thing that takes very much time right now, though. Thank you for the follow, Am Ambinub. Very much appreciate it. Um, let's see. Okay. No, we're good. Um. So, Burden's Host. Okay. So, we just have a few more. Man, dude. Some of these fights are going to be tricky, though. There's still, what, three left? A brawl is surely brewing. It's on. Okay, I can, do, I can use Roundabout. Oh, I only got the freaking HP. Dude, why is every other swing a, a whetstone? How does that work? No. I need to focus this fire hydrants down. Okay. Dude, this is so wild. Oh my god. Um, dude, I can't. My mind cannot handle that at all, dude. <laughs> Dang it, I was so close to. It's so much brain, dude. So much brain. Oh? Dang it, man. I keep getting cornered by this stuff.
kind of want another parry. You guys don't mind. Thank you. Oh, this is the god weapon right now. He spread his hype for her. Okay. Oh, achievement unlocked. Paladin. I guess that was it. Oh, so you don't have to do all of the... Or maybe I did the other ones earlier. When I was screwing around. Nice. Alright, I'm 100% achievements. Let me take a screenshot. Um, let's see. All right, cool, cool. 100% of achievements has been achieved. Uh, let's see. Cool. Uh. One second. I'll, uh, do I have a thing for my screen? Oh, maybe I don't with this layout. Oh, well. Okay, I won't worry about it then. But yeah, I've got I've got the uh I've got all the things. 40 How many achievements? 42. Cool. All right, so that was one big goal. Oh, let's uh split. So that's all S ranks. All equipment, all secrets that I know of. There could be secret phases within the bosses. Okay, has anyone found any secret phases? Does anyone know if they even exist? Divine Relic. Wondrous Talisman that grants a variety of abilities. So it buffs it? What does it do now? Whoa, dude. Look at me. What does this mean? So I still can't swap weapons. But I do have 3 HP. Whoa, dude. I'm like flashing and I'm awesome. Wait, do I have all charms at this? Oh my gosh, dude, I have all charms. I think I have all charms. Cause look, I have smoke, I have whetstone. Um, I have the, the parry thing. And it just does the, the weapon switching thing. Oh, that's so cool, dude. You have to work so hard to get, unlock this, though. So it's kind of balanced in how hard it is to get. But this this is this is the go-to for ILs. Oh, my God. Wait, if it's the go- Well, it might not be, because you still have to deal with the weapon RNG, I think. Oh, I have coffee as well. Coffee's on too.
That's super interesting. <laughs> full clear? <laughs> Dude, full clear is gonna be so nuts! Because you don't have to actually get this thing. So you have to beat levels with the freaking curse as part of the freaking run. Dude, I actually, it sounds so cool, dude. Dude, full clear is gonna be the dopest. Cause dude, you'll probably do this like first and then you'll just play the rest of the game with the freaking divine charm, dude. Oh my God, man. Wow, that's a cool item. What is it like on plane levels? I mean, I guess you just have whetstone, smoke bomb, this coffee, same diff same stuff. So yeah, the only way to switch is with uh, with an EX on plane levels, this I think. Unless you all know of another way. Oh boy. Yeah, the smoke bomb just saved me. It looks so cool too, I love the effect. Dude, the routing for this is going to be so nuts, man. Oh god, this is going to be rough. Oh. Oh, that's right, it gave me HP. The only thing is you can't Luigi swap with it. I don't know what this is, Cross. I don't even know what's happening. There is a cup, uh, a guy with a cup as his head. Yeah. <laughs> funny enough. What's funny, Cross, is I said that before you even typed that. <laughs> On my end. A ghost girlfriend who's super dope. Yeah. So it's probably not the greatest. But it's very cool. <laughs> Explain this quote. <laughs> Thank goodness we have this. <laughs> I don't even remember the context, man. Um. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you just need a scapegoat, okay, man. You know, sometimes you gotta send somebody out. Sometimes it's little Timmy, sometimes it's little Jimmy, sometimes it's little Sally. <laughs> Time it, yeah, the timing on that was actually insane. Because that was just a random quote, right? <laughs> That's incredible. Huh, so we've done it. We've done all the things, everything. Everything in the world has been done.